Nice. Okay, that's good. I mean, how do you get much better than Lumberjack's Dynasty, though, right? You think I'll love this game? I like the loading screens. When I was... Uh, I, I actually launched the game once before, okay? To do the game settings. So that we're not deafened. the hell uh, it should be all right though it should be fine right a professional yes listen to this it's nice it's good okay let's start a new game we're diving right in we're going in blind I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing round the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. That's right. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks, I held on to that thought. Until the valley from my mother's stories, I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. Good old Uncle Jordan. It's very, um, very common to hear such a such an American accent back in the day, back in medieval times. <laughs> oh, very nice. Is it really choppy? Hang, hang on a second. Let me go to window. Window it might be better actually. It's still really choppy, isn't it? It's not choppy for me. OBS just seems to be having some problems. We get this a lot now, don't we? I don't know why. They got VSync on. It's got to be because of the uh, resolution, right? It's just like can't handle it. Screen capture. It looks a little bit like Kingdom Come, yeah. The post processing, right? That old chestnut. So that. So the I'm scaling I'm scaling the output, uh, on the way out. But base canvas resolution is set to. Twenty five sixty by fourteen forty. I I really shouldn't be having issues with this, but it seems to, like all the time, right? Every game that we play, there's like frame rate issues. Not on my, my system, just the output. Oh yeah, maybe you gotta set this to like, maybe we gotta cap the frames, right? Let's try it at 144. No, it's still bad, isn't it? Okay, hang on a second. We might have to set it to 60 then. See if that helps. No, it's still terrible. <laughs> it's when I, uh, it's not smooth at all when I pan over, right? This'll be like, 
I mean, it's a little bit better than it was, but it's still bad, isn't it? It's a slideshow, yeah. I don't know why uh, this this is such a, an issue. If I set the resolution to 1920 by 1080, I think it's fine, right? Yeah, that's better. Settings, graphics. But now if I put it on full screen, Fucks up all my windows. Fuck, it's so annoying, isn't it? That is better, though, isn't it? Ay, 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 chat. This is gonna drive me fucking crazy. This fucking so stupid. What the, how is it fucking 2020 and this shit happens? Like, it, uh, it drives me crazy. I can't fucking uh, tab out of this game to, to make the window fit now, either. It's so fucking stupid. Sort the shit out. <laughs> it's so dumb. I mean, I can't test this stuff before I start, unfortunately, because it looks fine in the window. It's when it, when you actually start streaming and it's outputting, that's when it gets all fucking... I can't believe that it adjusts, like, your desktop size when you go full screen. Like, it's fine now, right? But... Just can't do it, Captain. Just can't do it. Hang on, let me see if I can do... What's this game called again? Oh yeah, Medi Medieval Dynasty. The thing is just too big now. Hang on, I think I gotta change like the canvas size or something. Okay, that should be better, right? Can you see all the stuff now? I'll just have to deal with these fucking windows being all big and stupid. Ah, oh, it drives me crazy. And then when I alt-tab out... Oh, fuck. Oh, it, dri it drives me nuts! When I, when I alt-tab out, all of my windows shift back to fucking... Um, um, 2560, right? So it's fine. But then when I... When I I'll tap back into the game, my windows are everywhere, and I can't see shit. Oh. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to put up with it. Right. Let's try not to get too hung up on it. Also, everything looks all washed out now, and, like, not as crisp. Because I've, I've had to downscale everything. You know what I mean? I don't want to set my desktop res as the same as the game. Why the fuck would I do that? Why can't I just play in 2560 by whatever, you know what I mean? I, I don't I don't understand why I have to, to do any of this stuff ever. Because it's 2020, yeah. Fuck, I'm setting it back. You guys are just going to have to deal with the slideshow, sorry. <laughs> it's not a slideshow for me. It's absolutely fine for me. There we go. <laughs> Enjoy, chat. It works for me. It's good enough. <laughs> I, I can't believe it's 2020. It's unbelievable. Have a fun. Have a fun time with the stream. If you've got issues, just fucking get in contact with these developers and tell them to fix it. Why should I fucking spend my time fixing this shit? You know what I mean? Why do I have to? It's not my it's not it's not my job to fix this. It's theirs. Right? Right. They should sort it out. There, let me just fix this so that you can see the full slideshow as it was intended to be. <laughs> Other streamers are okay. Good for them, man. I'm glad they figured it out. I guess the I guess other streamers just do everything at 1920 by 10. Oh, fuck me, man. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, like everything is lagging now. Look, the camera, everything. Oh, fuck's sake. Just the worst. Just the worst. Fuck! More CPU power. Oh my god. Just go back to the nudies. Fuck's sake. Hey dad, it's 5am and I just got off work. Really enjoy coming how to fall asleep to your dad voice. Oh, Thank you so God. much for the content daddy-o. Love you much. Is that better? Okay, I've changed my desktop resolution now as well. Which... The worst. Just the worst. Hey, thank you very much, Fan Go Round. Thanks so much for the 10 bucks. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Turn it back to the slideshow. Okay. We have to res we have to start from scratch now. Look. I spent all that time raging. I'm not immersed. I gotta get myself immersed into the game. I gotta get past all this rage and get myself immersed. Where did we start? Is it over here? I wonder if you can actually leave. Maybe we can go back to war. Uh, Uncle Jordan, I've decided, you know what? I don't want to make a fortune anymore. I was born to go to war. Look at all this. Beautiful. Oh, very nice. Starting a new life. Talk to the Castellan. Talk to the Castellan. I'll tell you what, the graphics are actually really nice in this, aren't they? Like, much better than the other Dynasty games. This looks really nice. Look at it. No? Go back and save my family. I just left them. Yeah, we're starting a new life. Starting a brand new life without our pesky family getting in the way. Yeah, there's lots of birds out here. Alright, let's go see if we can find this Castellan. Oh. Oh, some sticks. Very nice. Okay, let's pick up some sticks. You never know when you're going to need some of these bad boys, right? Some sticks. Wonderful. There's no tutorial for this one. Okay, we'll have to figure it out. What's that little thing at the top the, with the tree? Is that is that the time of day or is that like the, the season, the current season? So what is it, summer right now? So we're gonna have to get ready for the the autumn. Spring. It's spring. Where do we wanna go? Hornica or Gostovia? Gostovia? Maybe we'll find our future wife down here. Oh shit, yeah, I see them. I can see them. Look at all the people down here. Who lives in here? Nobody. Okay. Hello? Whoa. Where? Whoa! Listen to the honker on that! You in here? Oh my god! Look at the little babies! You can buy a goose for 2,000 bucks! Wow! We gotta buy a goose! You can buy a gooseling for 1,500! Shit! Whoa! 
No way. Oh, oh shit! Hi. Um. Hey, do you have a minute? Recently, I got into hunting. Got any tips? Sorry, I don't know much about it. Oh, but what would I do to get some venison? So tasty. Sorry. What were we talking about? Oh, it's weird that it's not voice acted. Maybe they don't want to get, like, the, uh, the old crew in. <laughs> I think this guy's over here. Oh, I know. No voice acting. It's a little bit disappointing. Water is an essential parameter for life. Without it, the HP drops. To replenish it, just drink water from a stream, river, or lake. Water can also be carried in a bucket or water skin. Okay. Good to know. Oh, check out the babes. What's up, baby? How's it going? Oof. Hey, do you have a minute? Um, I just got back from working in the field. Tough job. So I guess you're used to being covered in mud then. Then. I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Sorry, but I'm married. Oh. Can you move a little bit? <laughs> nice. Alright, we gotta find someone who isn't married. I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Sorry, I don't know you well enough yet. I'm creating a new settlement. I'm looking for good people willing to join me. I've heard you are building your reputation up. Keep going and I might consider your proposition. Reputation required is 50. Uh, hey, do you have a minute? Sure, what is it? Have you seen that noble who was passing nearby? I heard people say that he had amazing robes on him. Looks aren't everything, you know? I'll go now, goodbye. Newcomers, residents of your village, to encourage people into joining your village, you need to reach the right amount of dynasty reputation points. You can try to convince them by building houses next for them and talking to free people in the area who may like to join your growing settlement. People are much needed to help collect resources faster, look after the animals, cultivate fields, develop technology, and improve everyone's quality of life. This sounds great, actually. Whoa, wife. <laughs> A wife is necessary to ensure the survival of your dynasty. Thanks to her, you will have an heir who, after reaching the right age, will continue your history, improve dynasty reputation, and develop the village. Your wife can also help you rethink your talents and heal your wounds. Remember to take care not only of yourself, but also of your whole family. If your wife is very dissatisfied with your actions, uh, e.g. lack of shelter for a long time, food, or the possibility of warming up in winter, she may leave you and take the heir with her. Wow. Uh, there might be some game over parameters in this then. That's the, that's nuts to think actually. Okay, let's talk to this guy and let's get get started on the job at hand. Oh, hello, hello, Castellan, Uni Ghost. Um, hey stranger, what brings you to our valley? You don't look like a merchant or pilgrim. No, I am not. Rasimir is my name, and I came from the south looking for my uncle Jordan. Um, in his old home, they called him Jordan the Raftsman. Jordan, ah, uh, yes. He told me once about his life on the river. He came to the right place, but a few years too late, I'm afraid. Why that? What happened to my uncle? He was a great man and an even better friend, Rasimir, as a good craftsman. As a good craftsman and an excellent trader. He made a small fortune here. See the tavern over there? He built and ran it, as well as many other shops you will find in the valley. Um, well, at least I have a place to stay, but tell me now, where is my uncle? Don't get your hopes up, my friend. Ownership changed after Jordan died. There's no one left who would recognize the debt towards a distant relative of him. Continue. Gone is gone. The past lays forgotten. So what happened? How did he die? I can't believe I gotta read all this shit. His trek got ambushed by, by bandits. His carters slaughtered him. He must have put up a good fight. Took two with them to death. From that, from what we saw when we searched for him, I buried him myself, or better, what the wolves left behind him. Sorry to be the bearer of such news. My uncle is dead. His wealth is gone. I came all the way here for nothing. 
Don't say that. I wouldn't let a nephew of Jordan go to waste. And even if most villagers forgot fast what they owe your uncle, I have no intention to join them here. I am the Castellan and my word still carries weight. So tell me, can you build your own fortune? I can craft simple tools. I can collect my necessities from the wilderness. I know how to count and to barter. That's good enough. I may not have goods or gold to offer, but you can have as much land here as you want. Not sold, but granted to you for life. Build a house, grow vegetables, keep some livestock, and follow your uncle's dream. Are you serious? My own land as much as I want? As much as you put to good use, my boy, and as long as you can pay your taxes. I understand. Do you have any advice for me to start with? You can cut down trees to build your house. Reed grows by the river. It will work well for a roof. Do you have some food with you? Not much. If necessary, you'll find several vendors in our village. If you don't have any money for food, you can always look for mushrooms in the forest or hunt animals. Maybe I could earn some coins somehow? Sure, you could talk to people here in other villages. Maybe someone will pay for your help. Thank you so much for the advice. It's time for me to find the right place. Let me see. I have something special for you. This is the hammer your uncle used to build the house in which he grew old. What better tool could you use to build your first home here? Thank you very much. See you next time. Okay. Uh, allows access to inventory skills, journal, map, management, technology. Explore their functions and information they provide. That's the tab menu. Construction wheel. As you create a wide array of items and buildings. Okay. Uh, and the inspector mode. Uh... Let's you see where the villagers are in the area around hey, you. Sips, have some well of my items on the ground. Money. Hey. This game seems a bit bland without voice acting. It At does, least yeah. Kingdom Come had quality voice acting for old whore and when they ran off into the night screaming. Meow368, thanks so much for the 10 bucks. That's true, yeah. I think it was a bigger budget game, to be fair, though. Uh, happy birthday, man. Uh, and thank you so much for the donation. Um, so we can see the stats of NPCs you're able to recruit. The inspector mode uses stamina with talents. You can upgrade it as well. Okay. So this is inspector mode. Um, this is the construction wheel. And then this is the side quests and quests and stuff. Sure. <clears throat> okay. So... There's a map. So we're here. Gostovia. There's Denica, Lesnica, Rolnica, and Borowo. Oh, and Hornica. And Jezerica. Oh, and Branica and Branica as well. Two Branicas. This looks like there's a quest giver up here too. Management. Okay, we have nothing to manage. Technology. Resource storage, woodshed. In my inventory currently, I have a wooden hammer, <clears throat> some hose, and a shirt that I'm wearing right now. Okay. My skills. I could spend some talent points. Okay, fine. <clears throat> a new beginning. We need some rocks. We need to make a stone axe. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> we have to build our first house. Okay, where can you get rocks? Down by the... Oh. Down by the water, I would say. But it looks like there's rocks up around here, too. Can you pick on these nice flowers? Hey, Dad. We need reeds my as wife well, right? is 16 weeks pregnant with our first child, a baby girl. When do I grow my dad garage and dad bond? Um, uh, Vraby, don't worry, it'll all happen. Um, it, it, it will just happen with... Right, right before your very eyes, you won't need to do anything. It's a very natural process. Um, embrace it and enjoy it, Vraby. And, uh, congrats as well. And good luck. Thanks for the 20 bucks, I appreciate it. It's the circle of life, that's it, yeah. Okay. So, crafting, we need to make a stone axe. Okay, we have to cut five trees.
Food is an essential parameter for life, and without it, HP drops. You must eat to restore it. Initially, you can hunt animals for meat, but raw meat can cause poisoning. In spring, morel mushrooms are edible and can be found in the forest, but unripe berries can cause poisoning. In summer, the berries are ripe and good to eat, and in the fall, there is a much larger selection of mushrooms, but you need to be careful with the poisonous ones. Alright, so far this is very... Dude, some Alaska. Oh, just needed one more, one more cut there. Oh, yo, you can pick up the logs. <laughs> That's great. Okay, tree cutting master. I like that. I like the wood cutting. It's very good. Drink some water in the river. I guess we got to, yeah. What if we get like malaria or something? Hey Sips, it's my birthday in 355 days. I was just wondering if you could wish me an early happy birthday. Would mean so much to me. Hey little Timmy, thanks for the 10 bucks. Happy early birthday, man. I hope you have a good a good one in 355 days time. I hope it goes well. Remind me when it's your when it's your birthday and I'll say happy birthday again. All the best, Timmy. Thanks very much. <laughs> what a guy. Oh, it says straw, but the reeds count as straw, so we actually have to come down here and pick up a whole bunch of this stuff. We got to get our we got to get our house built. Got to build our house lickety split. Let's go cut down some more trees and we're going to have to have something to eat in a minute too. <laughs> Donate again on your actual birthday. Yes. That's it. That's exactly it, Timmy. Bam. Bam. I love that that one brutal slam that he does like right at the end, right? I think we're carrying too many logs and stuff. I wonder if I can build building other campfires, fences, furnitures, a wash tub and an archery target, traps. Oh, you can't place a campfire too close to the village. Okay, sure. Oh, you can't put it on the road. That's why. Okay, we'll have to find some rabbits. I was just checking to see if I could build a storage thing, but... Maybe we'll just build our house out here. Is this game worth playing? I don't know. I just started. I don't really... I mean, it seems okay so far. It's not terrible. Oh. Okay, I'm carrying so much stuff now that I, I just cannot even move. <laughs> I can't even move now. I guess I'm gonna have to drop some of these logs, right? Inventory. Um, how many logs? 15 logs I'm carrying. Let's drop all of these logs. There, there's 15 logs here. Hopefully they... S seasons and sleep. There are four seasons. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Season changes automatic automatically after three days. Many things depend on the seasons, including the sowing and harvesting times for different cereals and vegetables. Also, the timing of the availability of wild food resource, including berries and mushrooms. There are different temperatures during the various seasons, so you need to have suitable clothes ready for these. You can sleep in your bed or by the fire between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. Sleeping by the fire does not restore health. Sleeping in your bed restores your HP a little. Okay. I just gotta cut down one more tree. We're making our house out of maple. I love the big overhead slam. That's the best. Okay, we can 
can pick up a couple of... Okay. Apparently, we can now build our house. Let me grab some of these logs here. Let's see. Building. Storages, resources, houses. I need two more logs. Oh. house is a simple small house uh, incredible <laughs> it's incredible okay house built house built just gonna drop my, <laughs> my resources off in my house Oh, it's a beaut! Look at the concrete foundation! You couldn't hope for better in this day and age! Okay. Where are these... logs? Okay. Crafting. A wooden building hammer. We need, um so many more sticks and one log I can make a simple torch okay and I need to go grab some more sticks these things give three sticks each which is pretty good but let me grab some mushrooms and stuff too I think we can cook up some mushrooms if we play our cards right we're gonna get us we're gonna build a stove inside the house. We haven't had to venture out far at all. Look, the other village is just right there. So if there are any bandits or what <laughs> Nice. I love when a game rewards you with an, a nice little jingle jangle. Do 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 Extraction knowledge? Skills that determine how good you are in terms of felling trees and mining. Woodcutter, miner, mule. I think mule is definitely something. Five kilogram bigger weight limit in inventory. Miner's trance. Okay. Five five percent faster logging. Plus one more skill points from extraction activities. Okay. F to increase the level. Oh, I have no talent points to spend. Sorry. I've got talent points to spend here. Survival knowledge. Insensitive work in progress. Oh. Two degrees better temperature tolerance and an iron liver. 15% bigger resistance to poison. Okay, let's go for that. Something tells me we're going to get poisoned a lot out here. Okay, crafting, we need a log. I don't want to pick up all these logs though. Okay, let's drop all the logs except for one. You're doing great, Dad! What does Madeline McCann have in common with a submarine? What? They are both at the bottom of the sea and full of seamen. Oh my fucking god. Your mom, that's the worst. Thank you very much for the 10 bucks, though, but holy shit. We can make a wooden spear, some firewood, a wooden hoe. Okay, let's try this building hammer out. Wooden hammer. A stick and straw. Uh, oh, I already had a wooden hammer that whole time. Okay, let's equip this bad boy. Slot two. Oh, I see. Okay, wooden hammer. A wattle wall. I need two logs. <laughs> oh no. 
<laughs> okay. Mod me so I can ban that guy. Less we're, about than Terry. To, we're about to black out. Hey, Sloth, thanks for the 10 bucks, man. I appreciate it. Okay, I got lots of sticks. I've got many sticks. We might be able to get the whole bottom bit done. that stuff. I'm out of logs as well. I need one more log. Okay, where's this torch? <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go, baby. Okay, good. Let me grab some more stuff. We're gonna have to eat some of these mushrooms soon. In fact, where's the food at? We can eat this apple. Apple consumed. Can you get some wenches for this fine hut? Yes, you can. Dried meat. Okay, dried meat has been consumed. It's pretty, pretty dark out, isn't it? Let me get the old torch out. Oh, this is a pine tree. Okay, let me go get some more reeds. You're doing great, Dad. I second that nomination. <laughs> Mark. <Wait. laughs> What's that noise? It's me. It's me playing the video games. Oh no, it's the ghost of Teagle's past. Quick, everyone save Yaris Elvisa. Oh no, he's back. He's back. Hey, Mark, thanks so much for the donation, man. I appreciate it. All right, we gotta finish up this roof, right? Oh, look at all these. That was a good one. That was some good reed collecting right there. That's what you want. That's what you want. I wonder if you can get raided by bandits and stuff. And I wonder if the combat is just as terrible as it was in Kingdom Come Deliverance. That was pretty bad. I think we've got enough reeds now. <clears throat> oh, look, the house is looking great. The house is looking real good. Look at this. Oof. Oof. Oh, once we're all set up, the ladies won't be able to resist us. They won't be able to resist. Good. Look, we got some beds in here. Look, we've got... Oh, look at this. Okay, we can do some cooking. We can make some, some stew, some soup, some gruel, some potage. Oh, that's great. Okay, let's leave that on. We can do... We can sleep in the double bed or in the single bed. Wonderful. Okay. What can we put in here? What do we have too much of? I guess we could put like most of our food in here, right?
boat rules. St. John's Wharf. Okay, shoes and stuff we'll hang on to. There's a bunch of straw here that we can put in. There's a bunch of sticks here that we can put into. We'll hang on to our coins. We got 50 bucks. We got 50 bucks. Okay, we have to go. Did I just break my hands on the door? <laughs> I think I did. All right, we got to set a rabbit trap and we have to make a wooden spear as well. Okay. Let's get all the stuff that we need for this next task. Catch some meat. Apparently, there's no fishing in this game yet. Which is sad. I would have loved to do some medieval fishing. How about you guys? No? None? Okay, let's leave a couple of trees up by the house. And we'll cut trees down over here. We're going to have to plow some fields and stuff soon, too. I don't know what this St. John's Wood's for. Maybe it's like some like medicinal stuff. You just rub this stuff all over your hot loins to cool them down or something. I don't know. It's like, is it like uh, aloe vera or something? You know, like does it does it give you some some relief from the <laughs> from your red hot sweaty loins? Is that how it works? Never take St. John's wort when you're on antidepressants. Oh, right, okay. It's like something that you take. Like a, something that you would take instead. I see. This big rock is going to be a bit of a problem, I think. Okay, wooden spear then. We can make a wooden spear. A stone knife I don't think we can make just yet. But we can make a wooden hoe. We can hunt. We have to survive for a season. We have to hunt for an animal. No problem. I bet you there's some good hunting to be done across. Now look at this bridge. Now that's a bridge to be proud of. Look at that. Whoever built this. What a guy. Alright. Let me have some water. Let's go hunting. When did it say that it was alright to eat a mushroom? Berries in the summer, right? Is it the summer right now? How do you know what time of year it is? You gotta look at the sun. <laughs> wait, wait. Is it like the, how high the sun is or something? The mushrooms are fine. Okay. I, uh, those mushrooms didn't help. <laughs> I, we're no better. We're no better off. Are we gonna die? Are we dead? Um, what's the other thing that we needed? Firewood. Oh yeah, we might need some firewood to be fair. Other traps. A rabbit trap. Oh, 
All right. Rapid trap completed. We need to make a stone knife as well. Stone skinning knife. I gotta eat some more mushrooms. St. John's Ward helps you with poisoning. I think we're gonna have to like cook up a nice meal. Let's see if we can find like some cabbages or something. Maybe we can make some gruel. Or maybe we can make a nice potage. Maybe a, maybe a potage is what we need. To, to survive out here in the woods. In the wilder wilderness survival. This game is tough. Already, it's really tough. Alright, let's head up this way then. There's a whole bunch of mushrooms up here actually. Let me grab these and eat them up. So four mushrooms doesn't even make a dent. A food resource that can be eaten raw restores a small amount of food can be found in the forest during autumn. We can assign this to a tool slot. We could put it to, to four. It says one to four, but it's not working. My mom's a tool slot. It doesn't seem to help with your with your food at all, eating those mushrooms. It doesn't seem to help in the slightest. Gotta hunt some boars. What about some little rabbits? <gasps> I found one. Okay, we got some meat. Nice. Absolutely murdered him. The spear has been used up though. Gonna need another one. Where'd he go? Okay. All right, good. It's not quite Red Dead Redemption 2 levels of skinning. It'll do though. It'll do. Okay, let's get some rocks and stuff. So we got the skinning knife, which is... Oh, shit. There's tons of them out here. I think I need a bow and arrow for these guys. Maybe the first two you just get for free. <laughs> I like how he just stops all of a sudden. Okay, we got him. We got him. Alright. Let's go home. Wait, this isn't our home here, is it? This is like some other village. Let's go home and cook up some um, some of this meat. We'll fry it up and eat it before we pass out. 
Uh, look at there it is. Home sweet home, baby. Home sweet home. All we got to do now is survive for a season. <laughs> nice. Some free feathers on the ground. Okay. How do we make some stew? We need some cabbage and salted meat. Cabbage and meat, rye grain, oat grain. Meat. We need to make a, um, a thing, right? Crafting, building. Farming, survival. A hunting lodge, a fishing hut. A hunting lodge. Resources, a woodshed. Oh, this is all good stuff too. Houses. Uh, survival farming. Wow, there's a lot of stuff that you can build. Holy crap. Storages. Resource and food storage. Crafting. Sewing smithy tavern. There's no, um... There's nowhere to, to dry the meats? Or is it in the hunting lodge? You can make a mine as well. That's kind of cool. Other. Fences, furnitures, a wash tub, an archery target, traps, rat trap, bird trap. There's fishing nets and stuff. And then campfires. Alright, we're dead. We're dead. I can't, um. I can't survive out here. No, this food doesn't doesn't do shit for us. Let's take all this dried meat. Oat rolls. St. John's wort. We've got unripe berries here. We need some more oat rolls, I think. There we go. All right, we, we live to, we live for another day. Oh, chat. There's all, all of our meat. All of our dried meat resources are gone. Yeah. Right, we're gonna have to build a, um, not crafting, building, survival. We need a hunting lodge, not enough technology. Survival nine out of 50. So, technology, resource storage, 50 points. You can make a shovel, a woodshed. Wooden tool for digging clay can be crafted in book workshop and smithy and also used for protection. I don't really get how this stuff, the village main storage for resources, it receives resources collected in the woodshed, excavation shed, mine, hunting, lodge, barn, and fold inhabitants need this building to get wood. So I have to like, I have to build a whole village and then I have to get people to move into the village and start gathering resources and stuff. And then I can upgrade the technology and everything. Right. So I can make this shovel now, did it say? Let's make a wooden hoe and plant some vegetables if we can. See how that works. Where's the hoe? Uh, let's, um, oh, it's on three. Maybe I need a shovel to like dig the 
like the field first or something and then use the hoe after <laughs> gotta place the field yeah so building farming field oh i see Okay, all right. Fields and crop cultivation. Fields can be created with a maximum size of 16 by 16. The individual field tax depends upon the size of each field. To be able to grow something on it, you must first plow it with a hoe. Appropriate seeds are needed for sowing. The bag is a tool for sowing and has separate modes for each type of seed or manure. You can create the bags yourself in sowing or purchase them. Collecting crops and vegetables from field reduces the value of this field. The field value can be raised by sprinkling manure. The manure is produced by pigs when they are fed. You can collect this from the ground. Okay. This is kind of cool, though. We gotta get some seeds though. We'll have to make a trip to town, I guess, and buy some seeds and stuff. All right. You're doing great, Dad. Greetings, valued homeowner. Been <laughs> from a big microwave company and was told you do not have a microwave. No. Say less. How would you like to get a large tap and microwave oven, 200 volt wall unit, complimentary? All you have to do is admit that microwaves are good. I will never a big microwave company, not even once! I wonder if we can steal some manure from the pigs over here. Let's see if we can find... Look at these, look at this setup. They've made a really nice little town here. We need to make a similar sort of town, like with some benches and stuff outside. The old tavern and the bakery and shit. Like we I'm envious. I'm I'm filled with envy. Oh, you can actually rob the, the other town. <laughs> That's great. Look. We can steal some fl <laughs> we can steal all sorts of stuff from here if we want to. Hey, what's up? Um, I want to tell you something beautiful lady. Sorry, but I'm married. Hey, do you have a minute? Sure, what is it? I just got back from working in the field. Tough job. You smell like a barn. You should take a bath. Um Okay. <laughs> Hi little kid. Do you want to move into the... Oh. Show me your wares. Okay. She has... She's got some grains. Look. She's got some, some grains here. Look, we can get... Let's get some carrot seeds. Okay. Just one is fine. Um, hey, do you have a minute? Sure, what is it? Recently, I got into hunt... Have you seen that noble who is passing nearby? Looks on everything, you know. God, these people really don't like me. One seed. Okay, let's see. That's a lot of money, Chad. They cost a lot of money. It cost me ten bucks for one seed. I've only got forty bucks left. Okay. We need a seed bag, apparently. We need three le leather for a simple sack. Did we not get any leather from those rabbits? That is some bullshit. Not even a little tiny smidgen of leather? You need to put the seed in... That one seed in a bag. Let's see if we caught a rabbit here. In our trap. A rabbit trap. Where was it again? Ah! <gasps> hey! We did it! We got one! Oh, fuck yeah. Let's build a couple more of those. Find some better, a better source of food, chat, before it's, it's 
too late. Do you know what? This is actually pretty good. I like this so far. I don't think it's that bad. Definitely promising. Campfire to cook. Like an outdoor campfire. You can't fish, no, but you can set up a thing to automatically catch fish for you. We're not quite at that point yet, though. I think I left this fire on, actually. We could sleep all day. Right, what else do I have in here? Some meat. And now I have even more meat. And my one carrot seed. I got, oh, I've got fur. I've got one leather. Okay, let me put some of this stuff in here. Let's just hang on to the stuff that we need for now. Right. Um, so what's this other campfires? A simple campfire. Cooking. Roasted meat. Oh, cool. You can roast up the meat. You don't have to make big fancy... Okay, good. So you could do roasted meat, roasted fish. This one needs salted meat. Okay, so if I go into food now to roasted meat, this gives us six food. It's not making a dent, chat. Okay, there we go. So we need to eat all four of those meats just to fill up our health bar that tiny little bit. Bathe in the river and then drink my own filth. I don't know if I can just bathe in the river. I can drink from the river, but I don't think you can do a full bathe in here. <laughs> nice. got a new level of survival, I think, just from collecting stuff. Skills. Survival. Um, iron level. Survival sense. Sensing mushrooms, feathers, and herbs in inspector mode. 10% more health. Okay, let's go for this survival knowledge. Okay, so far we're surviving for a season. Things seem to be going kind of well. I don't want to jinx it, but... We're gonna pick all these reeds out of here. Oh, I didn't want to drink the water again. I wanted to pick more reeds. Gotta unlock some technology chat so that we can build some more stuff. We need to we need to build a uh, what's this? A barn. We don't have enough technology. And, and another thing that we need is um, not a well a woodshed would be really good actually, um, but a um, a sewing place. A smithy sewing. Not enough technology. Crafting 18 out of 100. Look, you can make taverns and stuff too. It's awesome. We're going to have the best place eventually. Eventually. It's just going to take a little while to, to ramp up to that point, you know? We need to get a, uh, a pickaxe as well, right? Maybe we don't have the technology for that. Maybe we need to make that at a smithy.
I've done it. I've leveled up again. Somehow. Somehow, some way, I just keep doing it. Like every single day. Skills. Oh, I get a talent point now. Woodcutter. Or extraction knowledge. Yeah, let's just go with extraction knowledge. That should be good, right? We'll skill up like crazy. What happens if we get uh, our extraction built up like crazy? Will we unlock some technology? Let's see. Technology. 50 points for resource storage one. We have 10 points in survival, 24 points crafting. I don't know if it does. I think we have to craft more stuff so that we can get the workshop. Stack of 10 wooden, what, bows? Resource storage. We need money for this too. So we need like, we need to, we need to make some money as well. I wonder what kind of stuff I can sell, if anything. I bet you I can sell the fur, right? And like the leather? Somebody should want to buy that stuff. Somebody's got to want to buy that shit, right? Okay, let's get this leather and this fur. That's got to be worth something. It has to be worth at least a little bit, right? Okay, let's store all this straw. Maybe even all this straw, actually. Maybe somebody will pay me for this straw. Let's go to town. You can't sell your granny for some starter girl. No, I don't think you can. I don't think it works that way. I like our little house, though. So far, so good. Hello? I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Uh, I'm creating a new settlement. I'm looking for good people willing to join me. I've heard you're building your reputation up. Keep going. I might consider your proposition. Um, okay. Who was the woman that bought stuff? It was these guys, right? Um, I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Was it you? Show me your wares. Okay. Right. The feather. Two bucks. We can sell fur for two bucks each as well. So that gets us back up to 48. Hey, look. You can sell roasted meat. They buy mushrooms for quite a bit as well. Hey, look. They buy simple torches for four bucks. That's not bad. They buy a wooden hoe for 16 bucks. Jeez. She's got 982 bucks, this woman. That's crazy. The same with this stone knife, 21 bucks. Okay. <laughs> We're selling everything, chat. We got a spare wooden hammer here as well. This wooden hammer is almost busted, but we'll spell, sell the, the spare. Because we just build another one, right? All right. We're up to 100 now. We're up to 100 big ones. I got to go now. I'm running home. Sell my clothes. That's a good idea, actually. I should sell my clothes. Okay. We can, we can make more of this stuff, right? Easy. Crafting. What was that? What was the... It's a wooden knife. The stone skinning knife. Okay, another thing that we want to do. Other um, fences. Oh, yeah. Okay, we need some technology for fences, apparently. Traps. Oh, I can only do one trap. I can only make one, one trap. Okay, let me go and dismantle this trap. I can only make one rabbit trap. We need to put it closer to home. Traps is illegal. Yeah. It seems to be the case. Right. 
Let me get this one out of here and we'll get a new one. Because look, this one, the yield on this. I think we have to wait for it to break. We'll wait for it to break and then we'll build one closer to home, right? I think one more rabbit trap and that's gone. We could try to smash it up, I guess, yeah. I wonder where you do mining. I don't know if there's going to be enough room for our settlement here. Maybe my house is there, but then we build the settlement like along the, the river here or something. Maybe we just do that. Make a gold mine. All right, okay. Okay, let's roast up some nice meats here. I only got two meats from that one. Nice. It's another day. Why am I outside of the village? I don't know. Well, I'm just trying to set up my own thing out here. Just trying to get my, my own thing set up out here. That's why I'm outside of the village. Okay, we'll keep on top of the old hunger. <clears throat> We're a leper witch, yeah. I can't mine. I don't have a pickaxe yet, chat. I'm working on it. Aha! Okay, good shout. Good shout. Got it. Great. Alright, we don't have to come out here anymore now. We can set up the trap up closer to home. weight on me. What am I hanging on to? It's probably all this straw, right? <clears throat> Did I not? I, I meant to try to sell some of the straw. Alright, let's get the, let's get this bunny trap set up here instead. Look. That's bad. That's much better. Okay, let's go back to town here and sell some stuff. That's right, we're selling our wares in town today. We're here to sell a whole boatload of straw. What's up, ladies? What's up, gentlemen? How's everybody doing? Good? Great. Hi, kid, I'm here to see your mom. Show me your wares. <laughs> All right, straw. Oh, yeah, here we go. Look at this. Forty-nine bucks worth of straw right there, baby. That's pretty good. Stone knives, we could just, like, go crazy and sell a bunch of these, right? Make up a whole bunch of money. Now I can afford to buy a bunch of other shit. Rye grains, onion seeds, there's straw, there's wheat grain here. There's some feathers. I don't think they actually sell leather here, though, right? What are all these people doing? Hello? Hey, do you have a minute? Sure, what is it? Uh, I just got back from working in the field. Tough job. Yes, it is. But with experience, it can just be a little bit easier. I got plus five approval with him. All right. We're going to recruit this guy into our village in no time. You mark my words. Once we get some geese and stuff rolling down there, no problem. No problem. 
Get some walls and shit. We're, we're gonna make a better village than this one, that's for sure. We're gonna have all of our own dudes. Working hard to make to make the dream come true, you know? That's it. That's it. Yeah, I want to cut some. We need to clear some of this space over here, right? This is where we're going to set up our settlement. So I have to clear out some of this space. It's going to be a lot of hard work. <laughs> we're going to get a dude-only village. Yeah. build this wood storage thing over here too, right? I think we're going to have to build some more buildings. We're going to have to build some more buildings so that we can unlock more building technology, right? That's the way to do it. No women. We're going to have to build some houses for people even if they're not ready to move in just yet. Um building, storages, resources, houses. All right. This is the first step. We're going to build a couple of houses on the on the Riviera here. There, we're gonna have a couple of houses for people to move into straight away, baby! How do you get rid of this? How do you get rid of that? Oh, my wooden hammer is broken. I need uh, another log. Sticks I have enough of. But logs I'll need some more of. Is there not some logs over here? Bam! This is great. I can't believe we're making our own village out here. So good. If you build it, they will come. Am I right? Am I right or what? Leather, log, rock, stick. We want the wooden hammer. There. Man. Whoever comes and joins us first is going to be living like a king in this place. Look at this. This place that we're building here. They're gonna love it. The king of shite. <laughs> That's me. King of the shite.
Yeah, but look it. Living right on the river here. People are gonna love this. People are gonna love living on the river, especially once I've tidied it all up here and stuff for them. If you build it, that's when they start to come. That's when she gets really exciting. Can you imagine how exciting it's gonna be when the when the first first person moves in? You know what? We're gonna get people to move in, and then while we're there asleep, we're gonna rob them every night. It's gonna be awesome. It's gotta be the way, right? Sure, you can move in. <laughs> rob them every night. Just rob them blind every morning they wake up. Ah, oh, shit. Where's all my stuff? Um, well, I don't know. <laughs> night tax. That's it. Don't roll away from me now, logs. All right. We're gonna have our house on the other side of the road here. We don't want to mix with the peasants, right? Very important. We do not want to hang out with the peasants. some straw. We have some... There's a collection of reeds down here. <gasps> oh, yeah. Take these feathers as well. The birds seem to like to drop their feathers right there for some reason. We gotta do some roofing today, chat. It's some big roofing that needs to be done. We gotta grow our reputation with the local villages and empty the villages out. I wonder if we can empty out that village completely and then tear it down when it's deserted. Nobody lives in it. We should be able to tear it right down. Do I have enough leathers for the bag? Oh, I do. A simple sack. Oh, nice. Oh, that's good. Where's my simple bag? Manure. Change the bag mode to flax carrot. Oh, I don't have the uh, I don't have the carrot seed on me, right? Where did I put it? Oh, here we go. Nice. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. We didn't put any manure down. There's no manure down. That's the only thing. Oh. It's thirsty work gathering reeds out here. Luckily, we're right by the water. Just have a little drink while we're while we work. No problem. All right, let's roast up some of this rabbit meat so we can eat it. What's the goal in this? We gotta build a medieval dynasty. We gotta build a whole town. So far, so good. That's better. That's better. Feeling better already. Feeling better already. No, I didn't build this bridge. No, the build the bridge was there already. There's lots of stuff that you can build though.
Oh, we're out of logs. Whoops. Gotta get, gotta chop down some more trees for the boys. What are these signs here? What are we gonna call our village? Pennywhacker land. Yeah, you can build an airport later on. Yeah, it advances through the ages and stuff. We can build a uh, space elevator eventually as well, which is kind of cool. It's surprising. It's an early access game, but man, there's a lot of features. Pretty nuts, actually. I think the scale of this game is unlike any other I've played before. It's very ambitious. All right, well, these stone skinning knives are like a, a, an easy way to make some money, right? So I'll collect rocks when I see them. Am I being serious? <laughs> on. Come on. I think this is the first house complete. There, another small house completed. Somebody's ready, gonna be ready to move in here soon. We just have to convince the local population to, to, to throw in with us, right? Can you eat ass in this game? Uh, we're not quite at that point yet. We haven't eaten any ass yet, but we can get- we can have a wife and apparently make kids, so there could be some ass eating on the horizon. That's how you make kids, right? I don't know, I'm not very experienced in that field. New survival level. Perfect. What now? Um, survival sense. Sensing mushroom. Strong as an oak. Let's just go survival knowledge again. Survival knowledge has got to be the one, right? That snowballs you. It'll give you more points. Every time you do anything to do with survival, you get more points. There's another bridge down the river there. That's cool. Hi dad, been a fan for a long time and just wanted to say that you've really let yourself go over the years. <laughs> I know. At least you no longer wear that stupid fucking hat. Hat boy, more like fat boy. Oh. Did you eat the hat or does it not fit your big fat head? <laughs> Jesus! Bitch. Holy crap. Astro Man 97 thanks so much for the donation. I can't deny it. It has happened. The older I get, the more complacent I get, the fatter I get. <laughs> I did eat my hat. I ate all the hats. And much, much more. All the cakes are gone too. Guess who ate those? It was me! All the pies, everything. Astroman97, thanks so much for the donation, man. I appreciate it. Thanks. I think. Okay. Resource storage one is now a possibility chat. That's got to be good, right? Terry now wears the hat. Okay, so technology. Resource storage one. So the schemes that we can purchase. Shovel. Wooden tool for digging clay can be crafted in book, workshop, and smithy. And also used for protection. Okay, we can now make a shovel. So let's do that. And then in terms of buildings, resources, storages, resource storage one. We need 10 logs to build this bad boy. I'm on it. I'm on it. Luckily, there's lots of trees out here. Timber! We're 
carrying too many logs, apparently. Where do we want to build this thing? Let's build this thing on the side of the road here. Resource storage. We'll build it here. Let's drop these logs. I need six more logs to build this thing. How did Crusaders Kings go? Yeah, good. We conquered the whole world with like a, just a couple of years left to spare. We had like three or four years left, but we, we painted the whole map. <laughs> wow. need one more. I need to yell at Timber. There's nobody out here. You only have to yell Timber if there's somebody close by that's about to get hit. There's nobody out here. tell you what we really need though is um I'm crafting building storages terrain is too uneven here um i need to get onto this road so i guess the way to do that is going to be to drop half of the logs here And then drop the other half over here and then pick them up and move them over here. <sighs> That's kind of annoying, but. I do have a shit ton of sticks, this is true, yeah. So, so now I pick this up and then I. Repair, upgrade, downgrade, building. We want to do um, this thing. There are obstacles blocking the site. Um, I wish that you could. Uh, I think one thing that would be useful in this game is would be to allow you to place like a site. Right, without needing the resources. Because, like, having to hold 10 logs is, uh, is the worst, basically. Hello? I mean, these rocks do weigh a lot as well. I can walk a little bit now with all these logs. There's a log store, but yeah, that's what we're trying to build right now. I'm trying to build this log store at the moment. Here we go. We had it for a sec. There. Okay, that'll have to do. That'll just have to do. Okay, let's get rid of some of these sticks. And then we can just go pick up logs and finish up the walls. It's big. It's a big old building, isn't it? <laughs> Having a bit of a blackout here. That's a lot of mushrooms. 
consumed every mushroom. does love mushrooms, yeah. Okay, good. So all this stuff in here, so we need four logs for that. Four logs for... These are all like interiors, interior bits and pieces. Just lots of logs. Might be four logs for the whole interior. Oh, you might be right, actually, yeah. Oh, my builder's hammer is broken. Right. I'm gonna need another log. This kicks the shit out of li Lumberjack Dynasty so far? Yeah, it, it kind of does, doesn't it? This is more of what the other game should be like, I think. Right. Let me pick up these other logs. Um, so this wooden hammer, we're working all night till the job is done. We might not actually, we need some more food. Busy boy out here, eh? We turn up, Uncle Jordan's dead. Does it stop us? Hell no. Building a town. Oh no! No! Not on the building! a log stuck up on the roof. Shit. I got it. Don't worry, chat. <laughs> oh, nice. Let me grab all these mushrooms. We're going to want to eat these. That's better. You want some lights? Sure. How's that? Better? Yeah, you can you can you can survive with just one hand. Oh, 
Oh yeah, the whole interior is four logs. It's great. All right, it's getting there. It's looking good. Let's go to bed though. <clears throat> we'll go to bed in our in our actual house, shall we? Roast up some meat. The mansion, yeah. Got to make sure that um, that the peasant folk never get a mansion. We got to keep them. We got to keep it like low key dreary for them. That's better. That's better. There we go. There we go. Nice. Oh, I see. So now it's what? Summer? Or is this fall? I think this is the fall. We were in the summer and this is the fall. <clears throat> so it'll be winter soon. All right, our little town is coming along slowly, but it's coming along. We got to we got to do a successful flirt and we have to complete some quests for neighbors as well. This is this is next on the list. Of stuff to do. Make sure that she is thick. Okay. <laughs> I will. Oh, this is summer? Oh, okay. All right. So we started spring. That's good. It'll ease us in to the in, in for winter, right? We're going to need lots of stuff for the winter. All right. Resource storage one is completed how does this work now so if I store resources in here do I not have to carry them around on me sticks and stuff as well probably straw let's see the more I build, the more tanks I pay. No, so the so resource storage must be where your peasants store stuff, and then you have to go pick the stuff out after, right? Okay. So we don't want to build too much stuff yet because um, we don't want to be paying tax ahead of people actually coming to live here and work here. So we just got to go and complete some quests. Gotcha. All right, let's put this stuff in here. Leather. Feathers, leathers, these things, 
perfect. <gasps> hey, look! They're growing! The little carrots are growing! Oh, that's great. Alright, we have to go complete some quests, apparently. There are quests to be had in the town. We have to do a successful flirt as well. Who looks... who's good? Aha! Uh -huh. I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Sorry, I don't know you well enough yet. Um, hey, do you have a minute? I just got back from working in the field. So I guess you're used to being covered in mud then. Plus two, baby. I'm creating a new settlement. I'm looking for people. Um, do you have another minute? What a day. I've been working almost nonstop. But I know my hard work will pay off. You know what they say. Early bird gets the worm. She didn't like that too much. All right. We have to successfully flirt with some somebody. Um, do you have a minute? How have you been lately? No approval. Hello? Uh, do you have a minute? Recently I got into hunting. Got any, have you heard any gossips lately? No approval. What the hell? Is this gonna be like the 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 other dynasty games like relationship grind? You just have to like suffer through. <laughs> wow. so, there's somebody up here with a quest apparently. But where? I don't see. Anything. Gotta find some pigs. Hi. Hey, do you have a minute? Uh, nice weather we're having today, don't you think? Nope. Minus five. I think that's gonna be my rival. It's gonna be my rival. <laughs> the local creep has come to town, that's me. Creep creeping around. Uh, do you have a minute? What a day, I've been working almost non-stop. Wow, approval plus 10 exactly. I always say that through enough hard work we can achieve riches beyond any. I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Yes? Uh, my lady, you seem very fit. You look strong like a boar. Ah, shit. Are you calling me fat? You pig. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Um. Oh, no. She hates me now. That was not a successful flirt. <laughs> Shit. Shit, it all went wrong. Hey. Uh, do you have a minute? Have you heard any gossips lately? No. Uh, what a day. Aha, approval plus 10. Approval plus 10. Approval plus 5. Oh, I can't successfully flirt with her. She's married. Wait, you can spam this stuff. Okay, let's do it with her as well. Look. Oh, she doesn't have time for a, a chat right now. We've ruined our chances with her. Is this the one that... No, she doesn't have time either. We have to find somebody not married. Hello? What's this place? I like that. I like the old talking through the window. Hey, what's up? Uh, got a minute? Approve plus five. Approve minus five. Oh, once you get the minus five, they don't want to know you. What about you? Uh, can I help you with something? Help. I have a hole in the roof. I'll give you what you need. New quest hole in the roof. Minus two. Okay, we got some skills here. Extraction knowledge and uh, journal. Story quests. We have to deliver 12 straw to this guy. This is the quest. Ah. 
Okay. I'm on it. I'm on it. Bah. <laughs> Let's flirt with some ladies though while we're while we're out here. Look. She seems single. Do you have a minute? Approval minus five. We fucked it with her. What about you? Uh, do you have a minute? What a day. Approval plus zero. Uh, have you seen that noble? Oh, fucked it. Tough game. Tough game. These people really hate me. Well, I'm the new guy. What do you expect? This is what happens when you're the new the new guy in town. Everybody hates you. It was the same when I moved to Jersey for the first time. First couple of days I was here, everybody hated me. Even my wife. They got used to me after a while though, and look, 17 years later and most people have a lukewarm reception towards me. It's taken a long time to build it up, but we got there in the end. And that's the main thing. I didn't call any girl a fat pig, okay? She just took it the wrong way. All right, that should be enough straw for this guy. I said strong as a boar. Well, you know, in some parts of the world, people like being called strong as a boar. You know? Hey, what's up? Um, do you have a minute? How have you been lately? Um, how's the job? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's good. We got a, we got a strong plus with her. Okay, let's go hand in this quest to this guy. Where was he again? Here, right? I've got what you asked for. He gave me a wooden spear and 36 coins. That's pretty good. Okay, let's see if his neighbor has a job for me. Nope. Maybe this guy? Um, do you have a minute? How's the job? plus five uh, what a day um, have you heard any gossips lately approval minus five Shit. <laughs> oh wait fresh meat <coughs> nope it's not fresh meat Oh, we've talked to her already as well. Nobody doesn't want... Nobody wants to have an idle chit-chat with yours truly. How have you been lately? Approval plus five? Um, oh, great. I'm glad that we had this chit-chat. Got anything for me? Good to see you settling in, my boy. How is life treating you lately? Not too bad. I have my own house. I don't starve and people start talking to me more and more. That's good. I heard you picked up a hunting habit recently. I did. There's plenty of game in the woods. Is that a problem? <clears throat> no, on the contrary. We don't have any stupid laws around here that would reserve the game for the nobleman. And you could do me a favor and earn some goods. I am listening. There's a fellow hunter of yours called Sambor living in the lodge on his own. He doesn't like me much, and he is a loner. But during his last visit in the tavern, he dropped some remarks about bands of wolves that could become a problem. Find out what he knows, and I will reward you. Okay. Where is Sambor? Uh, can I help you something? What is it, child? I wanted to play pretend as an adult, but I don't have required items, and my parents won't give them to me. So I thought maybe you can help me. I can't give you anything, but I'll ask my friends to spread a good word about you. Um, I'll bring you what you want, but you will have to promise not to do anything stupid. Right. Just like Papa. What does this guy want? Just like Papa. Um, he just wants a stone axe. Hello, mister. You are back. Yes, but remember what I said. 
First, you must promise me to watch out and don't do anything dangerous. Yes, yes, I promise. Can I start playing now? Yes, here you go. Take care and remember what you said about your friends. Quests complete, chat. Done it. Done it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. She hasn't moved. She hasn't moved away properly. <laughs> We're stuck. <laughs> Lady. Hey, look. <laughs> we gotta like swing it open and then get. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Come on, out of the way! I can't speak to her! Oh, come on! Out of the way, lady! Come on! Oh, I almost got it! Oh my god! Help! <laughs> she's she's got me trapped in here. I can't. Where is she? All right, let's do a big running up. Ugh. <laughs> Come on, out of the way, lady! Oh, that was close. <laughs> I'm so close! <laughs> Come on! Game! I'm stuck in this in this tavern. She won't move. <laughs> if only the if only you could pull open the door somehow. I am spamming -y like crazy. Fucking door. I can't. Oh. I can't speak to her. Run backwards. Does that help? It doesn't help. <laughs> She's not moving. Brings you back to like the start of the game. Oh. I gotta go find that loner, yeah. We almost died in there. We almost, we almost dehydrated in there. <laughs> she was enforcing the lockdown, yeah. Wow, look at this field, holy crap, it's huge. Quiet down, ducks. 
Hi. I think we've tapped out like all of the villagers this morning, pretty much, right? Look, she's still stuck here. Out of the way! There you go. There. Perfect. Just stand there. Don't leave, alright? Don't don't leave. Okay, good. Good. Right. Let's go have something to drink. We need to bake like a we need to make like a water thing at my house. Come on, water. All right, come on, fuck. This fucking cancels like at the last second. <laughs> Jeez. Don't drink that. I gotta drink something. All right, the rabbit trap is dead. So we're gonna need another rabbit trap. My campfire go. Son of a bitch. You can't cook this stuff on the fire in the house. You can only make like fancy soups and stuff on the fire in the house. Right. Much better. Okay, we have to we have to convince some folk to come and move in to our uh, into our place, right? We got to get some people collecting resources for us. Oh, you can click the bottom part of the fire inside and not the pan. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so we don't need the campfire outside then. Okay, good, good, great, great, good, great, great. Uh, I need a stone axe. I need two rocks for the stone axe. I know I have some in storage, but there's a whole bunch laying around that we can just grab, right? Make another axe. We could chop down some more logs for our uh, for our village, but we don't want to we don't want to start hemorrhaging funds. You know what I mean? We want to make sure that we can't we can't build anything else until we recruit some people. Oh look, it's a clay pit. Ah, that's useful. It's a clay pit right close by. That's very good. Alright. Let's make this stone axe. My net worth is two shillings. No, come on. I've got a stone knife. That's, that's worth like 26 penny farthings or something. So it's... Actually, my net worth is, is far greater than what, what you think. Sticks somehow as well. There's quite a few sticks around here. This place could use a tidy up anyway, I suppose. There's crap all over the place here. I don't think you can dig the stumps out. Unless there's like a, a tech later in the game but I don't seem to have an option to do it. Maybe with a shovel? Once we build the shovel? No, 
Nice. All right, let's cook in here. Wow, we got a lot of meat from him. Okay, tomorrow's a new day, which means we can do some more flirting, right? Oh, we gotta wait 28 minutes. I guess you can only sleep when it's actually really dark. Tell all the girls about my double bed? Yeah, I should tell them about my double bed, actually. I'll tell them about my multiple properties as well. Maybe they'll like that. I've got like three houses. Maybe I'll tell them about my three houses. Oh yeah, we need to wash, don't we? Um, building, other, furnitures, a wash tub. Where can I build my wash tub? <laughs> I'm having a bath! I'm having a bath in my tub! Oh, this will be better for tomorrow, right? For the ladies? They were all clean. Alright, I'm ready to flirt up a storm. The ladies are gonna love this. Okay, we'll have another, another bath and then let's go let loose on the town. Okay, good. All right, ladies. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's try to recruit some ladies into the town. What's up? Hey, do you have a minute? Um, I just got back from work in the field. Tough job. Approval plus two. Um, I'm creating a new settlement. I'm looking for people willing to join me. Reputation required 50. I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Uh, you have a minute? Have you heard any gossips lately? Oh, shit. Shit. She didn't like the gossip. Radost? You have a minute? Nice weather having today, don't you think? He liked that. Uh, yeah. What a day. Okay. Got any tips on hunting? He likes this. Uh, I'm creating a new settlement. I'm looking for some good people to join me. Okay. Our reputation isn't high enough. Okay. We've done some good work on Radost here. We've done some good, some good work on him. Adamar, do you have a minute? Sorry, my mom told me not to talk to strangers. Right, okay. Fair enough. Okay, what about Jargo Gwyneva? Um, how's... What a day. Oh, yeah. What a day. 75. I just got back from working in the field. I shouldn't like that. You smell like a barn, you should take a bath. I, I took one already. Oh, I've got a new level in diplomacy. Diplomacy knowledge. Romeo work in progress. Frequent buyer. Okay, let's spend some on this. Rudolfina. Hang on a second. Um, nice weather we're having today, don't you think? Ah, oh, she doesn't like talking about the weather. Fuck. Okay. Remember that for me, chat. 
Rudolfina does not like to talk about the weather. I'm trying to, we're trying to Romeo here, yeah. It's not working out too well. Where's your mom? Ah, oh, yes. Do you have a minute? Uh, what a day. Nice weather we're having, don't you think? She liked that. Um, got any hunting tips? Oh. How have you been lately? Okay. Right, we can't flirt with any of these people who hold wares though, right? <laughs> Maybe I can flirt with this guy. Do you have a minute? Nice weather we're having today, don't you think? He likes that. Um, uh, you have any? Have you heard any gossips lately? He likes that. What a day! He didn't like that. Shit. What about you? Have you heard any gossips lately? He likes that. Uh, what a day. He didn't like that. Fuck, it's so hard to read these people. Like, I don't know what I need to do to get in their good books. You know? Ah. Oh. Ah. Hey, what's up? Um, uh, I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Oh, she's married. Uh, I just got back from work in the field. Oh, fuck. Fucking, my chances have been scuppered. Scuppered chances. Filiberta. Do you have a minute? Uh, how have you been lately? Have you seen, how's the job? She liked that. Uh, got any tips on some... What a day! This one seems to always work. Oh, shit. She's married as well. So, who's actually... Olga. Is Olga the child? Yeah, Olga's the small child. I don't think you're allowed to flirt with a small child. What about Wilburga? What are you doing up here, Wilburga? Um, do you have a minute? Nice weather we're having. Fuck! <laughs> Who doesn't want to hear about the weather? Fuck! <laughs> Shit. What about you? Do you have a minute? If you're any gossips lately? What about, um... Work in the field. Wow. Yeah. 67. Okay. That's pretty good. Oh my god. It costs so much to buy a cow. It's unbelievable. Who's uni with? Um. What a day. recently got into hunting. Oh. How have you been lately? What a day. Oh, we tried that one. Ah, oh, shit. So you, there's only a certain amount you can do in a day, and if you get a negative one, it cancels them all. We need to get to a point where we can flirt with someone. I guess we gotta, like, focus on one person and get, like, all the good... day indeed. Just gotta have some water. To get some meat as well. Should be able to place more traps soon, I think.
don't go down into the water. I wonder if we could make another trap yet. Stagnant swamp water, yeah. Well, it's water is water. I mean, you've got to get, got to hydrate somehow. Successful flirting zero to one. Yeah, I feel like, oh, we got a new crafting level. Craft knowledge. Technology. Woodshed one. Hunting lodge one. Food storage one. Workshop. Stack of ten wooden. I can't even read that. What does that say? Bows? Boxes? What does that say? Bolts! Sorry, bolts. It's over there. Bolts. Gotcha. Bolts. Food storage? We've got done no farming. Tapped out on the flirting that we can do today. I'm pretty sure I've spoken to everybody. This creep running around telling everyone how good the weather is. Hide your kids, hide your cows. <laughs> no. Come on, we need to do a, su a successful flirt. Don't warn them about me. Look, we got all these. We got uh, We got some nice. Hey, Michi Moo, thanks for the donation. We got some nice digs for everybody to live in here. You know, we're just going to try to. There, look, another house completed. That's Jar Jarawea can can live here. Look, she's more than welcome to move in, along with all those other biatches as well. Look, we can put like a. Uh, okay, check this out though. Furniture. We could get some wash tubs out here for them. They're gonna want to have a wash at some point, right? There, look, we can build the woodshed now. Woodshed one. Total limit of buildings exceeded. Four out of four. Oh. <laughs> well. Alright, we gotta get some people to move in. Yeah, we have to build a village, but it's really hard to get people, to convince people to move into it. Technology. Woodshed 1. Simple stick fence we can make. We can make a simple stick fence. Chat. Chat, this is it. 
simple stick fences, baby. Ostrov, but better, yeah. Man, Ostrov is great. I wonder if they, if, uh, if it's had some patches and stuff. Do you think Ostrov's been patched a little bit since we last played it? I liked Ostrov. I thought that was great. Punch the stumps away. Can you actually punch them away? <laughs> you can! Oh, that's hilarious! <laughs> that's so dumb! <sighs> okay, good. That's great. Right, this this waterfront real estate, man. Everyone's gonna love this. They're gonna wanna move in in no time, right? This place is gonna be this place is gonna be kicking in no time at this rate. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is good. Oh, there's some berry bushes here. It's summer, so we should be able to eat the ripened berries, right? Yeah. Hello? I love how the music just like ends suddenly. <laughs> it's just like it's gone. It's gone. Can you sell the berries for good money? There's plenty more over here. Should I pick some more? There's like a million berry bushes over here. Okay, let's see how much money we can get for these berries. The nutritional value of them isn't great, you know. It's not the best. We got more over here too. Look at this. Can bushes, berry bushes everywhere. If we can make good money off of these, then this can be like something that we just spend all summer doing, picking berries. Maybe we can plant our own berry bushes as well, and then hire somebody to pick the berries for us. And then we can make a lot of money and then tax the peasant folk. Ah? Huh? Ah? Huh? You gotta love taxing peasant folk. Who needs to flirt when you're rich? That's exactly it. 
Who needs to flirt when you can punch tree stumps as well? Maybe we gotta get the ladies out here and show them that aspect of our skill set, you know? Dear ladies, guess what? If you have any tree stumps, I'll come by and punch them out of existence. What do you think of that? Food goes bad eventually. Well, we're gonna sell these berries. Oh, look. She's got like some skills. This guy is good at fishing. This guy's a good fisherman. Reputation required 50. So, where's my, what, so what's my actual reputation? Oh, my dynasty reputation is 26. Right. So I have to work on that. Hi. Would you like to buy some berries? 133 bucks worth of berries. Not bad. That's not bad. Do you get so many of them? Holy crap. That's insane. Stone axes were 23 bucks as well. So how much money do I have? 189 now. That's all right. That's not bad. We can't talk to Adamar. Filiberta, I've spoken to. Or we're gonna have to try again in the morning. I have to try again tomorrow morning. Will Berga, I have spoken to as well. I've spoken to all these. What about Kenamir? What about. Oh, yeah, I've spoken to her. Adamar is, won't talk to me. Rudolfina, I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. to figure out what makes some of these ladies tick, right? But wait, what the hell am I supposed to do for the rest of the day now? Just collect stuff? I can't build any more buildings. I gotta get my reputation up. I guess I gotta do quests for people. I gotta find this loner, right? Journal. Um, this one. Talk to Unigos and talk to Sambor. Go with it. Sambor Hunter as soon as possible and find out more about them. It's about some wolves. Where is this Sambor guy? There's a lodge out here apparently. Is it out this way or is it out the other way? It's huge, by the way. Fuck. Look how big it is. Maybe it's like across here. flirt with some people in here as well. Ah, maybe this is what we do. Maybe we gotta flirt with some more people over here as well. Here we go. What's up, ladies? Do you have a minute? Mylena? Oh, she's a child. Ida? Uh, do you have a minute? Okay. What a day! 
she hated that. Fuck. Inga? Wait. Uh, nice weather we're having? She loved that. Okay. Um, have you heard any gossips lately? She liked that. Nice weather we're having today? Oh, 75% approval. All right. Inga could be the one. She could be the one. Uh, gossips? Oh, 80%. I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Um, you know, I like you a lot. My lady, I cannot help but compliment your shapely figure. Which one do you think she'll like the be the best? I don't want to waste any more time without you. Marry me. We have a 0% chance. I cannot help but compliment your shapely figure. No. She didn't like that. Okay, Inga. Okay, Inga's now on the on the uh, on our radar, right? We can come back up here tomorrow. And try again. We'll try again. Oh. Carolina. <laughs> uh, do you have a minute? How's the job? She hated that. Soligost. Uh, nice weather we've been having. He liked that. Nice weather we're having. He liked that again. Okay, 60% with him. Oh my god. Look at all the babes here. Amelia! Do you have a minute? Um, have you seen that Nobel? She did not like that. Okay. Hello? What the hell? Huberta. Nice weather we're having today, don't you think? Oh, she hated that. Manamir? Nice weather? He liked that. He liked that. 70%. Frederick. I need some crafting materials. Sure, give me the list. Okay, let's see. Handy man. Twelve sticks. I've got it all. Okay, my dynasty reputation went up too, by the way. Ugh. How many quests are we gonna have to do? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my lord. Love is in the air. Do do do. Do do do. Lubar. Love is in the air. And I don't know if I'm being foolish, don't know if I'm being wise, but it's something that I must believe in. And oh, my lady, you are as strong as a boar. Will you be my wife? Carol Carolina. No. <laughs> no, fuck. Thanks very much for the donation, man. I appreciate it. Fuck. Look, it's nighttime. These guys are all just hanging around the, the, the campfire. Melina. Melina. Do you have a minute? Oh. She's a child. <laughs> That's fine. She... Well, you know. Dale Bora, I think. Is Dale Bora a child? Yes. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Ida! Oh. Who is the one that we almost got... That we almost flirted with? Who was the one? Inga. That's right. Inga. Okay, we'll have to come back tomorrow morning. What about Rudolfina? Look, we're, it's, he's thinking about Inga right now. That's what all the heavy panting is about. Panting heavily. All right, 
right, let's get this active again. Let's check and see how the, the carrots are doing. Hard to tell at night. Can't quite tell. Hey, baby, are you too close to the fire? Because you are smoking hot. <laughs> Hi, Bryant. Thanks so much for the 10 bucks, man. I appreciate it. Thanks. These, these are some hot babes in this game. Good. This is a good one. Some hot, hot medieval babes in this one. Right. Eat this meat and go to bed. Tomorrow is a new day, chat. Tomorrow is a new day. All right, let's let's have a nice wash up and let's see if we can if we can woo Inga. Let's see if we could get her. Let's see if we could do one successful flirt with her. We gotta wash off the barn musk. That's it. That's that's right. Successful flirting, zero out of one. Maybe, maybe we need to get a gift for her. Here you go, baby. Here's three dozen maple branches. Oh, you. You're such a smooth criminal. I know. I know. I know. Oh, I see her. Inga spotted. Whoa. Okay, what were the options that she liked when we were talking to her chat? She didn't like me talking about her shapely figure yesterday. The weather. She liked the weather. Hi, Inga. Do you have a minute? Nice weather we're having today, don't you think? Oh, shit. Um, have you heard any gossip? Actually, never mind. Okay. Did the gossips one work on her as well? Did gossip work? Yeah, it did. Okay, I don't know about those ones though. I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Um, you know, having a lot of money like I do makes life a lot easier. You look as beautiful as that blue sky today. Oh yeah, because of the weather, right? I wish I could see it to accept the compliment. Uh oh. Did anyone ever tell you that you have beautiful eyes? You know, I like you a lot. Three. You know, I like you a lot. I mean, we're good friends, right? Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Her approval's at 95%. But we still weren't able to... <laughs> but we still weren't able to do the flirt. Hey baby. Now I know why they call it a beaver. I have some what if you are interested. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Thanks for the 10 bucks. Okay, what about Amelia? Okay, do you have a minute? Um, how's the job? Hope you're doing all right? She hated that. Amelia, we, we're not doing... Okay, Huberta. Um, how's the job? She loved that. How's the job? Loved it. I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Sorry, but I'm Mary. Okay, that's fine. Ida. Um, do you have a minute? What a day. She hated that. Fuck. What about Manamir? Do we remember what this guy liked? How have you been lately? He liked that. Have you heard any gossips? He liked that. What a day. He hated that. Shit. Lubart? 
I just got back from working in the field. He liked that. How's the job? He hated that. What the fuck? Bertolt? All right. Fuck. Okay, we're gonna go to the other village, I guess, and then try to speak to Randolphina. Been watching you since 2011. Love your content. Hey, I thanks. hope you find the most skilled butter churner in the land. You I hope so. It. I PS, hope so. Have you tried doing the helicopter? I heard the maidens love it. Yeah, we should do the helicopter. That's a, usually that's usually a good one for us. The helicopter. We could do the helicopter. We could do like the sprinkler. We could do the. Um, there's all sorts of moves that we can do. if you can drown in this game we'll just uh, merge like swamp thing look the people in the town are all just like gathering reeds and like drawing out prunes or whatever fucking medieval people do and then all of a sudden <sighs> we're just like walking out of the lake we just appear just walking out of the out of the river towards the shore My favorite move. <laughs> nice weather. <laughs> nice weather we're having today, isn't it? Oh shit! Draw the prunes quickly, everybody! <laughs> Alright. Dagmara. Um do you have a minute? Nice weather we're having today, huh? She liked that. Okay, what about working in the field? She liked that too. How's the job? She liked that. Okay. Dagmara, we lucked out with. We managed to get a couple of ones. We got a couple of ones off on her. Do you have a minute? I've been working non-stop in the- Oh, yes! I just got back from working in the field. Well, so... This one we can't even flirt with at all. Um... What a day? Oh, yeah. Oh, we can flirt with her, but she's married. Weird. It's weird how some people you can flirt with and then some people can't. Like, what's her face there? You just can't do it. Uniwit! What a day! Nice weather we're having here. Got any hunting tips? <laughs> nice weather we're having here. Okay. Do you have a minute? Uh, I just got back from working in the field. Do you have a minute? Um, you got any hunting tips? Do you have a minute? Just got back from working in the field. I want to tell you something, beautiful lady, but she's married. Okay, so Dagmara is not married. Dobomira is a child, I think. Dopamira, a child? Do you have a minute? This one, I can't, I can't flirt with her. Dobromira. Nice weather. Oh, now I can. Okay, she didn't like me asking about the job. Okay. Dobromira... Potentially, then. Will Burga, I think, is married. She has a child. Um, how have you been lately? What a day. Okay, she likes me a little bit better, but I think she is married. Yeah, she's married. Okay. 
else is here? Who's this? Filiberta is married. Um, that's a child. Do you have a minute? I just got back from working in the field. It's tough. It's tough out there. How's the job? Man, nobody likes when you ask, how's the job? They hate that. They hate that when you ask them that. All of these women have the chase trait. Yeah, I think so. Hey, who's this? Ah, there's Rudol Rudolfina. Okay, Rudolfina. Do we remember what the options were for her? How have you been lately? Okay, that works. Um, have you been lately? Works. I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. My lady, you seem very fit. You look strong like a boar. Did not work on her last time, right? I recently went hunting and actually took a bear. It was a tough fight, but I succeeded at the end. She did not like that. How have you been lately? Okay, Rudolfina and Inga. We have both of them on the, on, okay, and Dagmira. Dagmira we're close with as well, right? Just invite her over to watch anime. Okay, I'll try that tomorrow. We gotta do a successful flirt. Let's check out on these farm fields here as well and see what's going on. Grab some branches and stuff too. Okay, the carrots are growing. Maybe we should have planted them in the uh, in the spring. I think we had to plant them in the spring, chat. Still, journal. We have to find this guy. We gotta find Sambor. We gotta find Sambor still. Talk to Sambor. The guy I need to talk to is behind the village. This one. I pressed F to track the quest. Oh, I see. So I just I just have to go to it's six hundred and ninety one meters away. Fuck. this way. Far away, too. Alright, fine. There's a girl in another village that loves talking about the weather. <laughs> okay. What's her name? Weatherina. Imagine how people did it before Tinder. Oh, I know. The worst. <laughs> Weather Heather. Heather the Weather Johnson. Alright, let's go speak to Sambor, at least. And then, hopefully tomorrow, we can do a successful flirt with Inga. And maybe Rudolfina as well. Is this on Xbox? I don't think it is, no. I mean, maybe it is. You 
can't take a bus in this one, sadly. I don't think there's any fast travel options available. You can tame a deer for riding. I doubt you can do that. That'd be cool though. I wonder what the voice acting is gonna be like in this when it when they when some of this stuff is fully voice acted. I wonder if they'll go for like this the the, the, the good old fashioned peasant folk sort of thing or if it'll just be like <laughs> fucking American voices. Lady you are all I think about all the time during the day. Why, thank you so much. That would be, just be the best. Thank you for giving me the new plow. Yeah, Lumberjack Dynasty is pretty good. There was a patch for it recently. They added like a tree regrowing in the game or something like that. Okay, I found Sambor. At long last. <laughs> I am Rasimir, Jordan's nephew. I heard you have concerns regarding the wolves. Jordan, a great man, and it's a shame that we lost him. If you are only half the man he was, you might be worthy of my time. So what is it? So about the wolves. <coughs> Pardon me. These are two packs that have grown big too fast. One has crossed the plain between Hornica and Gostovia. It is only a matter of time until they will be biting Unigos rotten flesh. The other one is gathering around the lake in the south. I bet they will start coming to Denica soon. Shall we kill them? Killing a pack? You would need a large hunting party for that, and even then, we would lose a lot of good men. No, but the villagers should be alerted and prepared. Sure, I will make sure they are prepared. <laughs> okay. Maybe the game... You know, maybe the game brought me out here so that it could change the state of the village. We get back and there's a wolf attack, you know? Oh god. I don't have a weapon. Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that scared the crap out of me, chat. Wait, wait, I, do I not have a knife? Oh, I need one more rock. Oh, man, it was just like on me instantly. Fuck. There's gotta be a rock out here. Ah, right, here we go. Okay. We'll get some good pelts here. Kill some more dogs now, yeah. We got three meat and three fur for that. It's not bad, actually. We are a little bit low on health, though. Um, so for health, we need... Um, what's that, that plantain? Need to find some plantain. bison out here and some deer oh man we need to get a bow and arrow so bad some plantains. I think I have some in my house, but here we go. That's what we're looking for. 
or a broadleaf plantain. So we eat this bad boy, and it will restore some health. Look at my shoes, they're like sack shoes. Got some sack shoes. Maybe you can build some better clothes after. What do the what do, what do these look like? The plantains. St. John's wort is for poison. That's not gonna help us health-wise, unless we're poisoned. Oh, it's a stick. Still not that. God, there's a lot of St. John's wort out here. Holy crap. I can't find any more of this stuff. A whole bunch of berries here. I have to get back and cook up some of this meat. My footsteps, like, it's weird. You can hear your footsteps behind you. It sounds like somebody's running after you. Oh, what a day. All this has happened today. I wonder if you can put stuff like this in your own village. Probably not, right? You probably can't put, like, these, like, step walkway things and stuff. It'd be neat if you could. Fought off that wolf. That was wild. Oh. No dice on that. Rust update looks nice. It's a little bit like rust, doesn't it? Okay. Right, so we'll eat this meat. And then we'll eat these plantains to restore our health too, right? Good. We have to go speak to Uni Ghost. Rust doesn't have bangers like this though? True. Rattlest. Uni Ghost? Well, he is a loner lurking through the woods, but he knows the game around here and he believes that both Gustovia and Denica will have to face wolf attack soon. I was afraid it would be something like that. Well, here's your first reward, courtesy of the last tax collection Sambor actually complied with. What will you do? Uh, I will take care of the events here of Gustovia, but hey, I need you to make sure Denica is prepared to go there and convince Dagobert to build palisades. They will be ready for anything, I give you my word. Denica is like way over here, we haven't been there yet. Borowo is where uh, one of our our lucky lucky ladies lives. We 
would have to do a um, a successful flirt. We have to go talk to Dagobert at this other place, but we'll go in the in the morning. We need some more food too. Holy crap! It's gonna be winter, or is this summer? So it'll be fall when we wake up. Got ten leathers now. Simple torch and a simple bag. Got fur boots and a fur hood. Unripe berries never get ripe? Really? There's a 17% chance of poisoning as well. It's fall. Oh, wow. It does look like fall. Okay, first things first. Let's go flirt with Inga. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, if we get a wife, yeah, you have to, you have to make some more, some babies. Oh look, there's different mushrooms out here now. Parasol mushrooms. Oh, we're full of food. All right, Inga, where are you? I see her. Target acquired. Inga, the T1000 needs to speak with you. Um, okay, I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Hey, do you have a minute? <laughs> oh my god. She needs another, she needs more time to think about what I said previously. <laughs> Shit, how have you been lately? Okay, good. We're at 100% approval with her now. That still doesn't help us with our dynasty <laughs> reputation. That is the worst. That is the that is the worst. Sully ghost. Um. I recently got into hunting. Um. What a day. Have you heard any gossip sleep? So we can't speak to Inga again till tomorrow, I guess. We've got to go to this other town. I This game looks pretty nice though, doesn't it? Like the trees and stuff look great. Kill the wolves? What the hell? It's no junkyard sim. Man, don't even get me started. There's more clay pits down here.
All right, we're gonna go visit this other uh, village to warn them about wolf attacks. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need some warm clothes too, aren't I? For the winter. We might just have to like huddle by the fire all winter long. Maybe that's all we can do. So when the when the seasons change, you get you get a full restore of uh, of food. It looks like. Or is it is that like every every night? Actually, shoot it. it every time. It's so annoying. I don't know if this... Did this actually hit the deer or what? Got him. Nice. What a shot! Three leather and four meat for that. Pretty good. Okay, let's try to ace this guy as well, right in the head. Oh. The wooden spear is dead now. get a lot of logs from that one uh, right spears we'll make two spears jump down a tree to make a toothpick yeah um, missed that one. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh my god! Come back with my spear, you heathen! Come back! Oh, come on! I need those! Come on! It's gotta bleed out at some point, right? <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> Shit! 
All right, got it. It's a good source of leather and meat. All right, good hunting. Did some good hunting out here. Look at it, it's beautiful out here. Look, we could have made our town like out here instead. It's really nice around here. <clears throat> Aim for the heart, not the ass. Well, I was going for the headshot. I think I feel like a spear through the head can can do it as well, right? Look at that beautiful waterfall, Chad. Look at that. Oh, it's stunning. What a stunning waterfall. Beautiful. Unico sells you a water skin. Oh, okay. Uh. Headshot. Well, oh, there's a lot of game to be had around here. Lots of game. Headshot. Boom, headshot. Boom, headshot. Wait, can you attack townspeople? This big log store they have. That's a beaut. That's what we need. All right, we have to speak to Dunder Ghost or whatever his name is. Dunder Mifflin. There's fucking goats. Here. Dagobert. Hey, stranger, what are you doing on my land? I'm no stranger anymore. I am Rasimir, nephew of Jordan, and I moved to this valley some time ago. Well, if you are really Jordan's nephew, you can't be too bad after all. Is there any proof for that? Proof? Well, my mother told me he had a scar on his left cheek and an awkward way to get on and off a horse's back, something with a childhood injury. Good enough for now, so what do you want? I was sent to alert you that wolves are gathering southeast of your home and it only is it's only a matter of time before they get curious or hungry. You should build some palisades and arm your family. There hasn't been a wolf attack for many, many years. Too many people live here now and the wolves are retreating into the mountains. It is very unlikely they will come here. Can you be entirely sure about that? You have your wife and your daughters here. Aren't you afraid they could get attacked? All right, I will take it more seriously, but I am out of logs. If you can get me 40 of those, I will build the palisade myself. That's a lot of work, Dagobert. And my wife will indulge you with the best our kitchen has to offer. You have my axe. Forty logs. God damn. logs. Jesus Christ. <laughs> a 
Okay, I've got five. <laughs> Shit. He thought he was going to give me his wife. Timber! Okay, can I... Can I give it to him in installments or or what? Because this is going to be a real pain, isn't it? To hand in 40 at once. Oh, I have some of your logs. Okay. You can you can do it in. That's good. That's at least something, right? chat well <laughs> this is us for about three hours now I did want dude sim yeah you're right I can't complain or something? I think it's a fox. Alright. Dagobert. Ah. Ah. Okay. We're almost half done. Clovers. That's a big farm. It's much bigger than my little patch. No, we haven't done any mining. We're not quite at that point in the game yet. <laughs> His wife's gonna peg me. Peg! I hope that's true. have enough rocks. Hopefully there's some rocks around. I'm gonna have to do some foraging for some rocks. I need a new axe. You had my axe. But now the axe is no more. There's a weight limit, yeah. These, uh, these have chances to poison as well, right? Not these ones, though. That one does. Take these over and we'll cut down some more trees. Dagobert. <laughs> All 
All right, we're over halfway done now. Chat, you'll be pleased to know. a small <laughs> it was a really small timber timber it's like half a timber Seven logs is too much. What do we need all this wood for? We're helping this guy build a, a wall around his towns to uh, protect against wolves. There, we only need 11 more. <clears throat> it's like two more trips. keep all of his babes in inside his town. Doesn't want those babes to ever leave. <sighs> Alright, we gotta do it six at a time, otherwise we can't move, right? Too heavy. cut the whole village. Yeah, you get XP for all the chopping, yeah. I bet, and you should not regret, talk to Matilda. I smell something's in the air. I hope it's, it is what I'm thinking. My stomach is empty. My hands are hurting. Oh yeah, that's right. She's gonna give me some food, right? Kinga, do you have a minute? How's the job? No, nope. don't want to talk. No, none of these people want to talk about their jobs. Wow, look at these guys have like a Matilda. Wrong Matilda. You must be nearly starved after all that hard work. Here, a hearty portage and some soup. It's a family secret. Shame on you. Nevertheless, thank you for the meal. Nice. So we're now up to uh, 20. We still didn't get any dynasty reputation for that. Unbelievable. We're going to have to eat this potage, though. Nutrition is 30. That's great. Oh, that's, that's huge. And then we'll take the 35 from the soup as well. We'll fill right up. We need some water. Right, it's time to head home. <clears throat> Maybe we could drink some water. <laughs> nope. We gotta head home before it gets too dark. We don't want to get attacked by wolves. 
still no wife. No, but tomorrow, hopefully, we can um, we can flirt with Inga a bit more. That's what we're hoping, anyway. Did we get any water from the soup? No, I don't think we got any water from the soup. What the hell? Oh, the fox. I can't get him. I can't. I think I'm. Uh, I think I've ran out of spears. Leave the nice fox alone. He's trying to take me to a uh, uh, hidden treasure. He's trying to lead me to a treasure, a treasure area. Nice. It's getting too dark out now, chat. Watch out for zombies, okay. I'll keep an eye out, just in case. Henry! Oh no. Just you alone out in the wilderness. I have my torch. Yeah, I don't need it though. Look, the moonlight is lighting the way. It'll be day by the time we get home. No, no. We're sleeping tonight. We will sleep. Tonight. Tonight we dine in... Tonight we sleep in hell. <laughs> that mushroom is poisonous. Nah, no, I'm not gonna eat it. Put that black out. Uh, look, home sweet home. Back in the homestead. Okay, we'll go talk to Uni Ghost in the morning. Because we're gonna we're gonna wanna do the rounds in the morning anyway, right? We need to get a successful flirt. That potage was amazing though. That was really Oh look at the carrots! We got a carrot seed and six carrots. Nice. Come on, baby, light a fire. Do do. Come on, set the night on fire. I can make two stews. Come on, set the night on fire! Alright, we need another trap. Let's have a wash. Alright, now let's go talk to some babes. We need a wife. Maybe we'll finally get a wife in one of these Dynasty games. This is the third one we played and still no wife. Good morning, Uni Ghost. I'm back. I worked really hard out there. How'd it go, Denica? Well, they are prepared and safe now. A simple wooden palisade, I assume? Yes, and I think Dagobert is a man who is not afraid of wolves. Wait for the further events. Gotcha. 
Ah. Pong. All right, we have to do some more flirtings. Where's Randolphina? Rudolphina. There she is. Okay, Rudolphina. Let's see. Um, I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Yes? You look as beautiful as that blue sky today. Or you look beautiful today. Which one do you think? Actually, never mind. What a day. Um, have you heard any gossips lately? Not really. Uh, I just got back from working in the field. She didn't like that. You look as beautiful as that blue sky today? Not interested. Uh, we should go out to have a lunch by the river sometime. I heard it's really pretty this time of the year. <gasps> Rudolfina. 2%. It could actually be nice. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, man. Nice. 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 Build a hunting lodge. Hey, you know what this means, though? Dynasty reputation is at 78. We can actually hire some people in. Radost. I don't know. Well, you... Okay. He needs an approval rating of... I just got back from... Got it. I'm going to go into hunting. Okay. And... Have you heard any gossips? Fuck. <laughs> Dagmara, um, do you have a minute? I just got back from working in a field. Oh, shit. Uh, have you heard any gossips lately? Oh, fuck. I fucked it. I fucked it. Okay. Dagmara. Um, I admire, I admire your honesty. You are not afraid to tell others if you disapprove of their behavior. I tried to be open, but I think it's not something you should be praising. Thank you anyway. Okay, we need approval rating of 70. Oh, that means that maybe... That means that Inga could come and work for us, right? What about... Fernidand? got back from working in a field oh so close with Fernie Dan we got a new diplomacy level okay good do you have a minute oh I'll go now goodbye we can't invite her weird so we can we can flirt with her, but we can't invite her to to stay at the um, at the thing. She didn't like the old working in the field. So who can? Kanuta. Do you have a minute, Kanuta? How have you been lately? Um, have you seen the the noble? No. Uh, I just got back from working in a field. Uh, my God. Tough crowd on old Kanuta. We want to we want to get somebody to come and work for us, right? We gotta we gotta recruit somebody. Ferdinand, so close with Ferdinand and Radost, kind of close with. Okay, let's see if we can find somebody else. I don't think you can recruit merchants though, right? Emerica. Canamir. None of these guys I can get. Will Berga. 
I think it's mostly just men, right? That I can I can get. That's a child. Put them on the wheel of pain. <laughs> yeah, okay. No. That guy I can't recruit either. Whoa! Recruit the ducks. They cost a lot. So, the only guys that I seem to be able to hire are over here, sitting around this fire. One of them is doing some twerking over here, too. See, she's at 81%, but she's married. She won't come over. Kanuta? Kanuta? Oh, yeah, we exhausted. Okay, so Kanuta is a single woman who could potentially come over. What about her? No. Her? No. Weird. Okay, let's go to this other town and see if we, we need to get some people to join our settlement, right? I don't think I can make this uh, hunting lodge yet. Hunting lodge one. Stack of stone. Stack of 50 stone arrows, a bird trap, and a wooden campfire. We don't have enough technology, hunting technology, so we have to go do some more hunting. Gotta hunt some fox and boar. Well, we know where the fox are anyway. We can head back out there and do some hunting. But let's see if we can get somebody in to start making us some, getting us some resources and making us some money. Install an heir into the ruling heritage. with the icon looking like a man standing can be recruited so Inga's not one of them hi Inga um, I want to tell you something beautiful lady um, we should go and have lunch by the river Oh, yeah, baby. We should do go out and have lunch by the river. Yeah. We should go out and have lunch by the river. Oh. We should go and have lunch by the river. Oh, shit. Um, I admire your dedication to your work. You deserve the highest praise for it. You know, I like you a lot. Okay. Good. Man. I think we can marry Inga pretty soon. I think she's back in the running big time. Huh? Huh? Alright, so all these guys that you can hire seem to hang out by the fire up here. Like, they got nothing else to do, right? Okay, let's see if we got anybody at 70. Bratimir. Um, hunting tips? Um, have you been? Nice weather? Yep. Um, have you been? And, uh, have you seen that noble? Uh, he didn't like that. Okay. Ingwar. Ingwar. Um, hunting. What a day. Uh, he didn't like that. Manamir. I'm creating a new settlement. I'm looking for good people willing to join me. Sounds like, sounds like what I was looking for with pleasure. Great. Fuck yeah! Manamir hired! Your inhabitants need a, a house, but not only that, it is necessary to have a food storage so they can get food from it and a resource storage from which they can get wood to keep their house warm. An important measure of the villagers' happiness is their mood. 
Let it fall too low and they may leave your village. You want to keep hold of the best workers and do this. to do this, you need to make sure they are content. Well, what's Manamir actually good at? He seems to be pretty good at most things, except for... Mining? I don't think he's any good at. He's very good at mining. Maybe he'll get better over time as well. Management. Okay, Manamir has no food. So there's 0 0.6 wood per hour. What's his profession going to be? Simple small house. One out of three people. Resource storage one has no workers. Will he just take a job? Will he just take uh, whatever job he can or what? I need to build food storage. I don't think I can. Food storage, we need to do some farming. We need to get some farming technology in. So we have to put some wood into the storage forum. And then we need to build the food storage forum as well. So can we assign him to to farming if I if I build a farm I'll need to buy seeds and stuff too I guess right hurry up he's hungry well man who isn't speaking of which it's time to eat a stew hell yeah and drink from the river doing here it's like not I want it to go like along the side of this you know how do you do it you can't rotate it so it's like it's just gonna build it like on this weird weird ass shape Can we assign this guy to this job now? No. Open details. Wheat. Oh, wow. Okay, Maramir, I don't know how to assign this guy. Open details, assign workplace. Simple small house. Resource storage one. No food storage. All right, so Manamir is working at resource storage one. That, that, the interface for this is f truly awful. So what does he do when he's, when he's, when he's working here? I need one log.
are going to have to hold that field. All right. Uh, we'll make one wooden hole. Okay, and I'll put some I'll put some wood in here as well, right? Um logs. Sticks. Okay. Um and then we want the wooden hoe to be assigned to four. So that we can plow this field. <laughs> nice. We gotta get some farmers. This will be good experience, though, for farming, right? Building a couple of these fields. We can go sell some shit, get some seeds, and plant some crops as well. I don't know if we want wheat, though. We probably want some vegetables, right? So we can make stews for people. So maybe just have, like, some carrot fields. Damn. Okay, I can build food storage now. We got all the farming experience that we need. We're doing it all for Manamir. We gotta keep this guy happy. We gotta keep him happy. He's got a job now. Maybe he'll find a wife. It's a big fucking field, isn't it, chat? Holy crap. He better not fucking marry Inga. He can marry anybody he likes, as long as her name isn't Inga. <laughs> We've made so much progress with Inga today, it was crazy. Alright, good. The field is ready. The field of dreams. Alright, where is this? Uh, so we need to make a building. And this is a... Not the woodshed. This is the resource storage. Food storage. I mean, eight logs. Let's get this bad boy up and running. I want to leave this tree by my house. I don't really want to like clear cut the whole forest, you know? this one this song oh okay so this is gonna be our food storage area 
I wonder if Manamir is... Oh, he's still... Look! <laughs> After all that time! I've done like a full day's work and he's all he's done today is walk! What a paninus this guy can be. Just the biggest paniner. Okay, so this is food storage. So you need logs and sticks. Is this the reality of that weird Ukrainian sim builder? Yeah, kind of, yeah. I don't know, as, as far as these Dynasty games go though, this is definitely the best one. This is definitely the best one yet. No, you can't use resources from storage. Yet. I mean, I think it's uh, resource storage may is one thing. But uh, there's the wood storage as well, so maybe wood storage it will pick from? I don't know. Stranger, I came to this land recently and I don't know anyone here. What can I do for you? I have work for you. Um, uh, can you please? Oh, he's working here already. One out of one people. Technology. This is for food storage. Okay, so in terms of management, um, we currently have uh, wood and demand. So we have 17.3 wood available. We have a population of two. We have a small farm development. Uh, we don't have any food right now. I mean, I've got some, but... I got some meat that I can put into food storage. As soon as I've set up food storage, right? Don't worry, Manamir. I'm gonna work all night if it means getting you all set up, big boy. You got this. Maybe we put these mushrooms into food storage as well. I like that. We'll get Manamir to go out and pick some mushrooms. Fucking Manamir, eh? Such a little bitch. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot. I need to build another one of these bad boys. Uh, I've got some stones in here, actually. Alright. Hunting knowledge. That's good. Okay, that'll get us up to where we need to be. Uh, so we need rocks. I just need two rocks. Um, and let, let me take all of these sticks as well. 
put these into storage over there. And let me grab all this straw. We're gonna need it for the, whatchamacallit? Feather, fur, and leather. Okay. Was there two logs in there? Lumberjack's Dynasty with the machinery update. No, I didn't actually. Is it worth trying? I didn't realize there was another update actually. There we go. <laughs> Alright, we need a couple more logs to finish this up. And when I say a couple, I mean we need Probably like 20 logs or something. You like that heavy breathing? <laughs> it's good, isn't it? <sighs> it's just like hammered one nail in. Sounds like you're getting out of the chair. Yeah, it sounds like me getting, sitting up in bed in the morning. All right, extraction knowledge. Three out of three, baby. We're gonna lose this wooden hammer in a second. Like after one hit. Okay. I'll have to make another one. Right. Getting there. Okay, just a couple more logs then, we can finish this bad boy up. Let's cut down these trees so that we can exp expose these clay pits, because we're going to want to get some chumps working down there too, right? Actually, can you hire people to go out and do wood cutting for you? I'm sure you can at some point, right? Look, we got a torch chat. Don't worry about the light. We can do all this stuff one-handed. My wife will help me cut down trees. Oh, that's good. That's what we that's what we want. We want to put her to work. We're going to have the finest town in Starfleet. need three more logs which is like what one tree what do you call a man with a spade in his head Doug? what what do you call a man without a spade in his head Douglas 
<laughs> Jim, thanks for the 10 bucks, man. I appreciate it. Doug. <laughs> Douglas. <laughs> okay. Let me get these pine branches. Okay, I think that's the last of the logs for food storage. And then what we're going to do is we're going to load up the food storage with mushrooms. So that well, Wankamir or whatever his name can just eat mushrooms all day. Oh shit, we need way more. Fuck, the, the log requirements for this thing is insane. There's two sides. Wow, look at the moon. Look at the moon. This game is nice. It, it does look pretty good, doesn't it? No? It's a nice moon. That's no moon. of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Yeah, it does, it does exude Kingdom Come Deliverance vibes a little bit, doesn't it? I'd say that this is a way better game, though. <laughs> I don't know. I should go to bed in a sec, yeah. So we need what? Two more logs and then we can go to bed. You can't go to bed until the work is done, chat. You gotta get the work done first and then it's bedtime. We have to get a drink too, right? We need a well or something. Or do we just drink from the river? What's the point of this game? I don't know. I don't think that there is one. So far it's like... Defending small villages from wolves seems to be the point. All right, food storage one completed. Got it. Bedtime. Good morning, Wen Wendemir. Uh, look it, here he comes. All right. Have no fear, Wendemir. I'm going to put some food in here for you. Look. You're gonna love this. Look at all this meat. Okay. What about some mushrooms? What about some poisonous mushrooms? And uh, this one as well. There we go. Nice. Okay, so in management now, we've got wood, we've got food, um, we've got taxes and no debt. And uh, we have population of two, and we have five out of eight buildings. And I think he's decided to live in one of these buildings here. And he goes, this is what he does all day. He just stands in here. Okay, let's get you working in a, in a field instead. We'll remove you from this workplace and let's instead assign you to um, a workplace. Assign workplace, simple small house. Ok, 
field one. How do you get people to work in these? Oh, look at this. So you could do like a half and half if you want. That's pretty cool, actually. But I don't know how to get anybody working here. Oh, you need work huts for them. Oh, you need a barn for it. That's why. Okay. Okay. He's going to work in food storage. The village's main storage for food. It receives food collected in the hunting lodge, fishing hut, barn, and animal buildings. Inhabitants need this building to get food. Okay, good. So we'll get um, we'll get Manamir working in there instead. Off he goes. <laughs> good job. <laughs> nice. Chat. This is great so far. I feel like uh, I, th I feel like we've made some progress at least. We have places for people to live. Uh, we have uh, a place for Manamir to work um, with with food uh, and firewood uh, stocked and stuff like that. So we'll, we'll we'll carry on. We'll try to get some more people in and um, and we'll keep building up our uh, medieval uh, uh, settlement. But yeah, I'm gonna go have some lunch. I'm starving. Uh, listen, give me like. Uh, Give me like 10 minutes or so and I'll be right back and uh, and we'll carry on, yes? Okay, I'll be back in a sec, chat. See you in a minute. All right, <clears throat> so building woodshed. Let's build a woodshed then, shall we? Might as well get a woodshed built. What does the woodshed do again? Uh, technology, a worker building for cutting down trees to obtain logs and sticks. The work range is limited to 50 meters. It should be built in the forest. Right. So a woodshed has to be built in the forest, and then we need somebody to work in the forest to cut down trees for us. So we'll, we'll build the woodshed, like, in there. Yeah? And then we have to go do some more hunting. There we go. Okay, so we want to build the woodshed deep in the forest, right? It has a 50 meter range. Building. Um, resources. Woodshed. to build this thing. Oh, we do need to build a little bit. So we need some logs. I thought it was ready to go there, Chad. It all It is almost ready to go. What do we need? Two logs? Timber! Microsoft is going to buy Bethesda. Jesus. <clears throat> really? All right. So that's uh, that's that working now. So how does this actually work? So this woodshed. A worker building for cutting down trees to obtain logs and sticks. Work range is limited to 50 meters. It should be built in the forest. Okay. Good. Simple house. 
You're doing great, Dad! You detestable chode. Tea or no tea? Oh no, sorry. Hody, um, I didn't get any tea, sorry. I, I did not. Sorry, I'm like so, um... Fuck, and there's so much shit that you can build in this. It's crazy, isn't it? So what's next? Barn. Flower. A hen house. A pigsty. A goose house. Food storage 2. A fold. A cow shed. And food storage 3. A workshop. Sewing. Tavern. Smithy. Sewing. Tavern 2. Smithy 2. Sewing 3. And tavern 3. Wow. It's wild. A house walls upgrade mode. Wattle and wooden walls require daub and stone walls require limestone. So we can repair, downgrade, or destroy something. Okay. Right. So I think management wise now, we're gonna get Manamir out here doing wood cutting. Because he's like, all right, it. it's just mining that he's no good at. He's good at everything else though. His skills are not good for this. His gathering skills stink. Okay. We can't have him work in there. He sucks at that. He sucks at this. So he's doing storekeeping. Okay, so we have to find a... Uh, th those menus are confusing as fuck. Manamir cannot chop wood to save his life. Alright, chat. That's the long and short of it. Right, in the meantime, we need to build a hunting lodge. So we have to go do some more hunting. We have to go do... We have to go out and hunt some more. What do we have to hunt? Boar and fox. Okay. 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 We could do that. We need to make some better food as well. Okay, so the the only option we have for hunting is uh, spear. Is a spear hunting, right? <laughs> timber. <laughs> it just did like a mini timber. All right. Let's make some spears. Perfect. Okay, so um, we go here. Wooden spears. We want this to be on five. All right. Let's go this way to hunt. There's definitely foxes this way. I'm not sure about boars though. I didn't see any boars. But I'm sure we can find some. We need to do. We need to get some hunting experience so that we can uh, build a hunting lodge. Uh, build a lodge, a hunting lodge for people. Aha! Come on! Got him! <laughs> nice. Killed him. Killed him good. Nice. 
some delicious leathers and meats. That wasn't one of the things that we need to kill for this quest, though. We gotta kill some foxes. And some boars. I don't think I've seen a boar in this game yet, so... That's a good point, actually, chat. Microsoft bought uh, Minecraft, didn't they? And they haven't ruined that, so... Who knows? Maybe Minecraft... Uh, maybe uh, Microsoft buying Bethesda is the best thing for uh, some of these franchises. Fallout and Elder Scrolls and stuff like that. Now, Microsoft own Obsidian as well, don't they? And Obsidian are still making good games. Yeah, Bethesda have been on a bit of a decline, haven't they? Done the same way as so many studios do. Blizzard and all, all the all the all the old great studios that just suck now. Obsidian and Bethesda are now sister companies, which means that Fallout New Vegas 2 could be a thing. Yeah. I think Obsidian have always wanted to do more Fallout stuff, right? Because a lot of the people that worked at Obsidian or still do work at Obsidian were involved in the in the first Fallout game. So I think it could happen. Oh my god. <laughs> How did I miss that? Oh my god. I can't believe it. We're going to go for the long bomb here. <laughs> ah, come on! <laughs> Jesus Christ! When am I going to get invited to Twitch Rivals Medieval Dynasty? Oh, soon, I hope. I'm hoping pretty soon. Alright, we've got to get our other spear back. Oh, come <laughs> Oh my god! Barba Papa. Oh, I think the other spear has expired. I'm fucking dead. I, I, I'm fucking... I'm losing my mind here. Chase his ass down. Got him. All right, let's skin this buck. Oh 
Oh, that's hilarious. All right, let's go see if we can find some foxes. Aim higher, man. Oh, isn't hindsight such a great thing? I mean, the thing is, he doesn't always launch it straight, right? So, like, if I aim left, it might go even further left. If it, you know what I mean? It's just luck. up some of this meat. I think they have to tweak like the um, the uh, nutritional values in this because like for example right now all of that food all that meat that I've got right I'll have to eat it all to uh, to top back up. I think like one roast meat should see you through for like most of the day, right? Realistically. Not only that, it doesn't make sense with the amount of food that like the people that you hire need, which is very little. My name is Officer Cox. I am investigating a large number of complaints of sexual harassment on local women. The suspect has been described as unusually obsessed with the weather and offensively smelly. Have you seen him around? No, <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about, Officer. I don't know who you're talking about, Sean B. Thanks so much for the donation, man. I appreciate it. All right. I think the foxes were over this way, weren't they? When we last... When we last out here, I saw some foxes out here. One of them was running after me. Oh, there's a boar? All right. Let's see if these things are difficult to take down. Where do you where do you throw a spirit of boar in the in the face? out of me okay good we're all over the place here Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. We shot his legs clean off, yeah. I'm gonna eat I need to eat some plantain now. I find some plantain out here. It's like all oh, just mushrooms out here now. What does it look like? Oh, I see. It's like these little plants. Okay, that's good. We need to eat a whole bunch of this stuff, right? To re 
health up. Alright, so that's two boars. Two boars dead. Yeah, Terry can eat plantain as well, that's right. Terry does eat plantain. On the regular. He loves it. It's like one of his favorite meals. Alright, so boars will attack you. Uh, they don't they don't want you anywhere near them. Okay. Alright. That was dead on, chat. That was dead on. <laughs> Alright. We can now build the hunting lodge. Finally. Okay. So that's all the boars that we need. Okay, we're gonna have to build another axe as well. What? Did I not just pick up two rocks? Sure I did. What a hunter I am, I know, eh? The best. sticks and hunt some more deer and shit on the way back yeah you can get a bow in this game I think it just you just come it comes later you know it's one of those ah. oh perfect perfect Right in the headshot. <laughs> right, right in that headshot. Okay, let's sneak up on. Oh, come on. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, what's this? It's like some sort of special plant. Oh. No, it's not. That was so close. It's a little too high, I think. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whoa, what a shot. Let's head back. We'll head back. We'll get our hunting lodge built in the morning and then we'll come back out and hunt these uh, fox. I think we're going the right way here. Kinda. 
kind of not really. Oh yeah, this is a, this is where the waterfall is, right? Good. We're still not quite heading the right way. It's more like this way. Good thing we have a GPS. Yeah, I know, right? We'd be lost out here. I would have to just follow the river, I guess. Have to follow the stream, the little creek to the to the big river. No, yeah, the map. It is a big map for a game without vehicles, for sure. These foxes? Where do they go? Oh, here he is. I didn't hit him. I thought I got him. I thought I hit him. It's R2-D2 out there. It sounds like it. it. Sounds like R2-D2 is out here right now, yeah. Where the hell did they go? the rabbit at least still no fox though oh. on that way so where are we right now it's like in between our okay that's fine so we've got to head like northeast ish We'll, we'll head back home, build this hunting lodge, and then we'll come back out. Jesus. Really weighed down here. Lots of sticks. Will you get... Eventually get full plate armor and stuff. No, no, we... This is a, this is like a, uh, like a domestic. It's not a, you're not, you're not gearing up for war. It's, you've left the war to choose a simpler life. So no, you, you don't make like plate armor and stuff like that. A dumb life. <laughs> yeah, just a dumb medieval life. Farming and shit like that. There's no no horses that I've seen yet. No. That's not to say that there isn't any. I don't know. I only started playing this game today, so I don't know. I'm a coward hiding from war. I I would actually I put it to you that I'm a smart person hiding from war. <laughs> I think I I think uh, I think it 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 takes more bravery to realize <laughs> that you don't want to be in a war. Run 
run faster? I can't. I'm just totally weighed down. I'll drop some of this stuff off at home when we get back, though. It's still going the wrong way-ish, though. Yeah, I, I, I did a successful flirt with a couple of people now. We figured it out. Really choppy? Saying that the encoding is overloaded. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it'll be, get better in a second chat. I don't know. One frame at a time. What does that say? Consider turning down what? Turning down video settings. Oh my god. Fucking god, OBS. What the fuck? The worst. Is it better now? I don't know what, what the issue is here. Like, it's perfectly fine for me. It's gotta be, it's gotta be OBS, right? God, we're still miles away from home here. Dude lost in a forest sim. Yeah. This game needs a... Uh needs horses you need you need to be able to to load shit onto your horse as well that would be fantastic you know loading like just a big pile of sticks onto your horse's back and stuff like that perfect uh i don't think you need to sleep no i don't think it does you you restore a bit of health when you sleep but you can get health back in other ways as well. So no, I don't think you necessarily have to sleep. Yeah, this is what Barlad looks like. So next time we go, next time the boys go to Barlad, picture this scene, okay? This is this is them. All right, boys, we've arrived in Barlad. This is it. <laughs> it's like two huts. Two huts. Look, let's just sleep in this house. I wonder if uh, Wankenstein or whatever his name is is uh, in here. As <laughs> he is as well. There. Let's get him back to work. Oh, he's gone. Oh shit! It's winter. <laughs> oh no. Oh. If the temperature is too high or too low, it will make you lose life parameters. You need to wear weather appropriate clothes if you want to avoid it. You can also take shelter in your home or at the campfire if you're too cold. Holding out a torch also increases your temperature. Oh god. We don't have any appropriate clothes, chat. We're gonna be spending a lot of time in here, I think. We don't have the right clothing at all for this. Unless we go buy some. Right, let's get this hunting lodge done. I can I can research the bow. And the stack of stone arrows. And a bird trap. Yeah, let's make a bird trap. Okay, let's take a bath as well. Out in the freezing cold. Uh, 
I gotta drop some of this stuff off. We are losing life by being out here. It's too cold. Where the fruit fur coat? Oh, and the fur hood. Oh, yeah. Okay. I got a fur hood and some fur fur boots. Right. Uh, leather, fur, roasted meat. We got normal meat. How are we doing here? So, 23.4 wood. 1.1 an hour. We've decimated our food stocks. What's up? All right, that should keep us going for a couple of days. 1.1 food per hour. Right. Let's build a hunting lodge for the boys. What do we need to build a hunting lodge? Building uh, survival hunting lodge. Six logs, no problem. Man, it looks fucking great in the winter. Yeah, winter looks great. You're doing great yeah, you can build the tavern. Hey, yeah. Sips. Public holiday here in Malta, so managed to catch a stream. Oh, great. Originally from the UK, but working for a tech company in Malta. I've been working from home since March. How oh. do you cope with it? Uh, I've been working at home since like uh, 2015, so uh, I don't find it too bad. <laughs> it's just, it's the same. But the, the trick is to have a, a, a separate garage to your house that you convert into an office. That's how I've done it. And it works out pretty good. Okay, let's get this hunting lodge like up here. Hang on a second. Let's see what it says about it first. So, hunting lodge. Hey, thanks very much, Mul Mulray. Thanks so much for the donation. I appreciate it. A worker building for hunting wild animals for meat and leather or for gathering blueberries, sticks, mushrooms, and feathers. It also has a workstation for crafting simple hunting tools and a small storage. All right. Sure. Let's get this built up here then. The hunting lodge. Oh, it might be too steep to build on here. It might be a bit too uneven. Build it like in the woods or something here. The terrain is too uneven around here. Okay. That'll do. You can build it out here, right? We need to hire some people to work in it as well. Richard, aka Dick, thanks for the 10 gift subs, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. 10. That's nice, man. Thank you. Oh. We need sticks. Luckily, there's plenty around here. So the hunting lodge collects sticks and berries as well. <laughs> I 
Bam! Wood everywhere. Waddle walls. You're my waddle wall. Last wall. Do you like the heavy breathing? Me too. It's one of my favorite features of the whole game. It's really good. Okay. Hunting Lodge is coming along swell. Straw and logs. So I need two more logs. And some straw. I've got a whole bunch of uh, straw actually uh, in my storage. Uh, we'll get these logs uh, loaded in here first. That's good. And then we'll go grab the straw. There's lots of stumps. Uh, did I put straw in here? No, I didn't. To put it in my in my actual house. Let's see. They called me Jim. Thanks so much for the three gift subs. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, we can make a bird uh, trap now too, right? So we need uh, two sticks and two rocks. Okay, I'll get the rocks while I'm in here. Uh, where did I put all of that uh, straw? I had freaking tons of it. Bird trap. <laughs> nice. That's nice. I like that. Go ice skating. I don't think the river's frozen over yet. I don't know where all that straw is, chat. There was tons of it, and it's just gone now. Oh, well. a shop for uh, reeds to turn into uh, into straw, right? You gotta like dry the reeds out or whatever. Maybe that's coming in a later update. Reeds. The final straw update. I get it. I can't wait to, to find a, a bird squashed under that rock. It's gonna be great. Water looks nice. Yeah, it's, this game is really good looking, actually. It's, it looks really nice. Surprisingly, the other two Dynasty games aren't that great looking. It's gotta be said. They're a little bit silly. Looking. Oops. 
Oh, it's a different developer. It's part of the same... It's published by the same... Um, same guys, though, right? Top, top bits or whatever? Alright, hunting lodge is complete. Archery survival. So we can make a water skin here with linen thread, a torch, a bow. I need linen thread for as well. And arrows. I need feathers, rocks, and sticks. That's kind of cool. So if we want to go do some hunting. All right. Now that that's built, let's go see if we can visit town and hire some more people in. We were kind of close, right? Inga we could go flirt with again. But there's a couple of guys over here that we were close to, to recruiting. Inga's still waiting for a lunch, yeah. We got to get some farming going, big time. Farming's going to be a big one for us. Dolphina. Okay, Ferdinand. He's almost. Hey, do you have a minute? Uh, how have you been? Oh. Okay, Ferdinand. I've heard you are building your reputation up. Keep going. I might consider. He needs a hundred. Oh shit. How have you been lately? Hey, do you have a minute? How have you been lately? Hey, do you have a minute? Uh, oh, which one could it be, chat? We're at 97%. Gossip? Gossip or working in the field? Working in the field? Gossip? Field? Oh, it was field! Great. Okay. Reputation required 100. Oh, wait, my reputation needs to be a hundred. Oh, I see. Okay, he's maxed out, ready to go. So we have to finish chapter four here to get some more. Dagmara, I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Um, we should go to have lunch by the river sometime? No, no, she didn't like that. Some of them do and some of them don't. Okay, who else were we working on? Um, hunting? How have you been? <gasps> I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Uh, we should go have lunch by the river? <gasps> uh... You know, on my way here, I saw a patch of beautiful flowers, and I instantly thought of you. She didn't like that. <laughs> Shit. Where's, uh... Where's Rudolfina? There seems to be some new people in town here. There she is. Okay. Let's go. Where is she, Rudolfina? Alright, Rudolfina. I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. I admire your honesty. She loved that. Uh, you look beautiful today. She liked that too. Uh, I admire your honesty. Wow. Okay. Rudolfina is like... She's getting there. I think Inga is still the number one though, right? Alright, so we have to go hunt foxes. We'll get some uh, more dynasty reputation by completing chapter four into the wilderness. Your team Inga, personally, right? I mean, I like I like Inga a lot as well. Right. Let's drop some of this leather here. And some of this straw here as well. The log and the stick and these rocks we'll take with us too. Because we'll need to make some axes and stuff while we're out there. Okay, and then let's make a spear. 
still can't make the bow and arrow because I don't have linen thread. I don't know where to get that. All right, we have to go out and hunt foxes. I know I can buy a bow. I don't want to spend my money on that, though. I make my own bow. I'm just going to make my own bow, chat. The frame rate's like, for you guys, it, I don't know, why is it, what's up with this? What, what is, what's up with OBS? Like, why is this fucking not working? Why is it so bad? Anybody know? Turn VSync off. It's gotta be, it's, no, it's not V-Sync chat. Nice try, but, oh fuck, I don't want to be unstuck. It's, um, I don't know what's going on with this. Yeah, it's, it's far worse, yeah. I don't know why it's, uh, it's so bad. It's, uh, it's not like this for me at all. Like, as I'm playing it, it's perfect. My camera show is stuttering too, so it's not the game. So what? So it's an OBS thing. What uh, what setting do I need to change on OBS then? Got to raise the up dog. Ah. to turn down the 4 watt. All oh, right, okay. It was doing this for um it was doing this for Crusader Kings as well, but to be fair, the game itself was very laggy as well. Is my CPU overloaded? No, I don't think so. It shouldn't be. Again, um I'm not noticing any of this. No, my CPU is at 40%. My memory is at 48%. My, but my GPU is at 97%. That's, so that's got to be it, right? It's just too much for the... Um, it's just too much to, to stream this and play it at the same time. We need we need a new thirty ninety. Lower bit rate. I don't know if that'll help though. And I don't know if I can do that while I'm streaming. Or can I? Stream video um advanced output. I'm using NVENC for my encoder is that is that the right one i need to download some more wham cpu encoder i don't have an option for that i have software and hardware Software. Okay. You think that'll make it better? Hello? Turn off winter. Is that better? It's still a little bit choppy though, isn't it? It's really 
really delayed too, but... Increase the bitrate. I can't... I can't increase it anymore. It's the game and not my encoding. Well, I don't know though. I mean, I think that it is the encoding a bit as well. So GPU is still at 90%. It's because the game is dropping frames. Encoded by hand. Add text port chat. All right, who knows what they're talking about? Who can help me fix this then? Anybody? We don't want any guessers chat. We want people who know know what they're talking about. Lower the game settings a bit. What from ultra to what high? better a little bit better I guess while we're out here we might as well hunt deer as well I mean we need foxes but <laughs> we could always use the extra food back at home, huh? Got him. Slayed that buck. Okay. So, the... They're up here. They're up around here, aren't they? The foxes. Last time we saw them, they were up here. We're gonna have to do a campfire out here. I think the days are much shorter in the winter, though. At least that's something, right? Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, chat. Well done. Guy can almost smell this meat. Okay, let's eat some of this roasted meat. Gonna need some water soon too. I believe the little creek is down here though, isn't it? Around here somewhere? So there's the... Oh yeah, it's coming right up. Okay. We'll have a drink from there and then follow it up. Aha! A fox. A rabbit. Finally. So what's the GPU at now? The GPU is now at um, 62%. So it was, the, it was the ultra settings, I guess, that did it. So 
wolf here. Oh god. Oh my god! Oh, what's that? That's oh, a fox. <laughs> okay, there's plenty of foxes around here. Dog kicker is back in town. This time, he's pissed. Where was this fox? There was one up here. Oh yeah, here he is. We got him. We got him. No problem. All right, we just need one more. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, what's up? Crossing. Oh, yeah, it needs, we need to get him an account. Who? Oh. Oh. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know if I can do it. Hey, Chad, how long does it take up to set up a Nintendo Direct um, account for Animal Crossing? Does it take a while or what? I'm being pulled away to do this right now, by the way. It'll take me 34 minutes. Okay, chat, give me two seconds. I'll be right back. Let me go sort this out. We did the, um, we've done the farm thing. I just gotta place a field and build a barn, which I've already done. I've placed two fields already, but give me two seconds, chat. I'll be right back.
You're doing great, Dad! No mods. Quick, spam the chat 356,7517,717,000 one comma five hundred and seventy one comma eight hundred and twenty five comma seven hundred and eighty five comma seven hundred and seventy seven comma six hundred and ninety six comma nine thousand four hundred and twenty comma four hundred and twenty comma four hundred and twenty comma six hundred and seventeen comma eight hundred and sixty four comma six hundred and seventy one comma six hundred and ninety five comma nine hundred and seventy one comma six hundred and eighty five comma seven hundred and ninety five comma seven hundred and ninety three comma four hundred and twenty comma six hundred and ninety six comma nine hundred comma five hundred and sixteen comma six hundred and eighty four comma six hundred and eighty two comma six hundred and eighteen I've returned uh no mods lol thanks for the 10 bucks I appreciate it thanks very much <clears throat> I'm back um I signed up for a uh, a Nintendo paid subscription uh Nintendo uh for my son uh so he's he's on there right now they didn't have um they didn't have any um, any of the names that we normally use available, so um, we just opted for um, all in caps uh, cunt blaster sixty nine as our username. So should be fine. I think it'd be all right. Um, I have to head back northeast. We can go home now. Sounds legit. Yeah. Well, yeah. They got some hentai games now. Mm, good. Good. Hey, look it. Is that the little campfire I made before? Look at the graphics. They're freaking really nice. Look at them. Look at these graphics for this campfire. It's a haunted campfire. Oh, shit. We needed some water, didn't we? We ran all the way out here and got sidetracked by foxes. I didn't have a little dwinkity dwink while I was out here. Oh, I got some tea as well, chat. My mother-in-law made me some... Made me some tea. Did you guys do tea bets? No? Done? Shit, they're both broken now, too. Okay, let's go. Let's go, boys. <laughs> let's go. You did some nice counting while I was gone. Okay, good. That's what I like to hear. I think this game looks fantastic. Honestly, I think they got, like, the graphics spot on for this. I think it looks great. Being out in the out out in the uh, in the rural uh, rural areas of, of Europe never looks so good. Hey, what do you think? The UI is crap. Yeah, it is. This this whole management UI here is just the worst. But you can excuse it because the rest of the game is actually kind of good. You can't convert your village to nudity, no. Not, not yet, I don't think, at least. Doesn't this take place in the U.S.? Yeah, it does. Yeah, the uh, the starting cutscene. 
I think it does. Medieval, the medieval USA. I was born on a farm in Europe. <laughs> medieval Denver, yeah. It is probably Poland, isn't it? Yeah, the nighttime music is pretty scary, isn't it? Listen. <gasps> You're doing great, Dad. Then I lost my torch. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> my penis snapped out in the woods. Just wait, you'll hear other footsteps in a minute. Need a shit, laddie! <laughs> no! No! Did I get your advice for OBS? No, I didn't. Wait. Oh, Dynasty Reputation's at 178 now. We could get some more boys in tomorrow. We can invite them over. Hey, look at this. It's going to bed late. He's working overtime. <laughs> I don't know what he's actually doing, but... We're coming to join you, <laughs> Wankenstein. Save room for Papa. <laughs> Here we go. Shit. He's up. Just like a fucking robot. Off he goes to work again. He's trying to usurp my dynasty. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. Oh, shit. Yeah, look at this. Fucking smush that bird. We need, like, a bear trap. Can still only have one trap. That's crazy. Skills. Hunting. So we've got survival knowledge. Iron liver liver survival sense. Strong as an oak. Okay, let's go with that. Strong as an oak. So we have to place a field and build a, a barn for chapter five. All right, what's this guy good at? This guy, okay, I'm creating a new settlement. I'm looking for good people willing to join me. Sounds like what I was looking for with pleasure. Great, see you there. All right, Ferdinand. Okay, Ferdinand has joined us. Redost. Um, we need approval needed 70. Okay, hey, do you have a minute? Uh, how's the job? Hey, do you have a minute? Uh, nice weather. Didn't like that. Okay. Radost is a no-go. Madurka. Um, approval 62. Yeah. Oh, what? You're doing great, Dad. Microsoft Why just bought Bethesda's parent company Zenimax for $7.5 million oh, the, the, like, now. She'll have to give him. And Bethesda. They have to trade codes, yeah, so that they can visit each other's chat. That's how it works, right? Animal Crossing, you, the dodo code, you have to give your dodo code to somebody else and then they can come and visit your your um, your, your your town or whatever. Do any of you guys, any of you guys 10 in the chat that play this game or? Yes, okay. <laughs> Lots of people, it turns out. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, they need to... So, he, he'll need... If she wants to add him, um, he'll need to... Uh, it'll say, like, I think when the, he's at the airport or something, I don't know. There'll be a code, and they just have to swap codes, and then they can join each other's thing. Yeah.
<laughs> yeah. But it's, it is working, all right? Apart from that. <laughs> Bye, Terry. Terry's going outside for his exercise. Um, okay. Madurika. Hey, do you have a minute? Hello, stranger. Um, I just got back from working in the field. Tough job. She loved that. Um, nice weather we're having today. How have you been lately? She loved that. Okay. I'm creating a new Selma and looking for good people willing to join me. Sounds like what I was looking for with pleasure. Huh? Two guys, one girl. I think the settlement's just gonna grow naturally now. We don't need to recruit anybody else. You know? <clears throat> we won't even need to do it any. We, we, they, they'll just they'll sort it out themselves. That's right. All right, so this guy has the skills to pay the bills, right? We gotta get somebody working in the woodshed um, and somebody working in the hunting lodge. Okay, let's assign a worker to the hunting lodge. Who's good at this? Menamir apparently is pretty good. Hunting and survival. So actually, it turns out Menamir is good for the hunting lodge. Okay, let's make him a hunter. Okay, good. So that's Manamir working at the hunting lodge. Uh, we're gonna need somebody who can work in the woodshed as well. So we have to assign a worker who's good at this. Ferdinand can do woodshedding for us, right? And then this new girl can do farming? Looks like she'll be good at farming. Okay, good. And then we just need to set up the barn. She can work in the barn. Taxes are due at the end of winter. You need a bow and arrows in the hunting lodge chest to make him hunt. Really? So what, should I put him on gathering then instead? Manamir. This UI really stinks, by the way. Like, it is awful. Who thought that this was a good idea? Because it is bad. So we want Manamir... Wait, we can't assign Manamir from here? Epico, it was you? Oh, they can hunt without it, okay. I did it. Yeah, that was my design. I did that. I did that one. Right. So the next thing we need to do is we need to be able to make a barn, which we can't make just yet. Food storage. We're close though. We're close to being able to do a barn. Uh, we just have to make more fields. We've got a field. So we have to place another field. Unfield. Okay, let's make this a big field. Okay, field placed. Let's hold the shit out of this so that we can build up the experience points needed to build unbarn. You're doing great, Dad. Hey, Sipsy, it's yeah. been a while since I caught a stream. Nice to see you. Do hey. you recommend this game? Yeah, I will compare it to Dude Sim Alaska. Well, you know what? Dudes in Alaska doesn't exist yet, so this will have to do until then. Until such a time of Froxy. 
Thanks for the hundred bucks, man. Holy shit, I appreciate it. Armenian Dragon, thanks so much for the uh, for the donation as well. And Davy fucking Crockett, thanks for the donation. I'm Davy fucking Crockett, and quite frankly, you suck dick at this. You dick sucker. When is the last time you met someone else who cared at all about the weather? Probably never day, because it never fucking happens. I am an OG mountain man. I know what to do. Sorry, Davy Crockett. I mean, apologies. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to to get your goat up. So, I you know, I'm sorry. I am sorry. We need ten logs for the barn. Okay, let's see. In my inventory now, there's 18 meat. We have three people to feed now, so let's deposit this meat in here. Um, so the carrot seed can go in the barn, right? They've almost used up all of the wood in here, too. So in terms of management, we have 2.3 wood with 3.1 per hour. And food, they've blasted through it all already. <laughs> they ate all of this food that I just put in. No, they didn't. Okay. It looks like they're not eating this meat. This meat is not counting. So what, do we have to prepare the meat? Oh, they can't cook, so we have to cook it all up for them. Okay. No, I thought they'd be able to cook the raw meat, though. I think I need some sticks. To light the fire. I need? What's going on here? How come I can't light any of these fires? Oh yeah, we need a worker at the food store. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, let's get Madurka working there then. Um, so, food storage. We have no workers. Let's get you working here as the storekeeper. Yeah, you're right. They're probably not eating this raw meat because we don't have anybody working here. Let's try this now. Save me having to cook it all up. So in terms of management now, maybe once she gets in there, Okay, so I have to cook up all this meat. Okay. And then we gotta build this barn and hire somebody in to do some... Actually, we'll hire somebody in to do Mazurka's job instead, because she's good at farming, right? And she can do some nice winter farming for us. Turn this fire on. Oh, you need a torch for it. Is it because my torch is gone? I 
I need 10 straw. All right. Oh, here we go. Okay. Right. Oh my god, this is going to take forever, chat. I can't believe they can't cook their own their own food. God, I should have gone to set up that Nintendo account at this point. There hasn't hasn't been any bandits or any fighting involved yet. Nothing like that. Okay, let me go. Let me go put this food in quickly so that they have something to eat. And then we'll cook up the rest of it in a sec. So now they've got 90 food and four wood. We're going to have to put some more wood in here for them. Especially in the winter, they'll need even more, right? Right. Now what? Now they got 16.2 wood and 90 food. And uh, our lumberjack, Ferdinand, should be adding more wood to that too, right? Do they need tools or anything, or are they just good to go? Does Ferdinand need an axe? Are they working or <laughs> is this is this meant to happen? Oh no. Oh no, not again. <laughs> Maybe I could like sneak out the window. <laughs> huh. Are there any stats like that show you what they're actually doing or if they got anything? Well, there's no chest. Don't just guess chat. You either know or you don't. I'm not gonna fucking put a bunch of shit in the chest. Like, do you do you actually know or no? I wouldn't have thought that any of you guys played this game, really, but... I don't think the villagers work yet. You've been playing for 10 hours. <laughs> You've been playing for 10 hours and they haven't done anything? Come on. So they just don't work. Go. 
Oh, Vandermeer needs to be reassigned to this now. So you think that I have to put this axe in here for this guy to actually do his job? Oh, it does seem to be some wood here. But he doesn't seem to be doing his job. Manamir is coming back, it looks like. He went home. Management screen, select a building, and then the magnifying glass next to it? Where's the magnifying glass? I don't see a magnifying glass. The wood goes straight into the resource shed. I have over 9,000 hours in this game and the peasants will only perform their assigned task if you perform cunnilingus on them prior to the work day. Right. Right, so if I remove this... Oh, I see. So if you put stuff into the chest, the stack will just grow. Okay, I can put one let. Oh no. One leather didn't work. I... Okay, so these guys don't actually do anything when they get to... They just stand here. Oh, he actually went in, though. He managed to get in. Vanamir's got, like, a Christmas hat on. <laughs> He's very determined. He's very determined. What what's this guy's deal though? What is he is he just stuck or something? Profession is a lumberjack. He's living in a simple small house and he's working at the woodshed. What's his face just went off to do some hunting? Oh, yeah, we gotta eat, don't we? This whole time I'm worrying about. Oh. I'm dead. You starve way too quickly in this game. And the amount of food that you need to top up is insane. flatbread from NPCs. All right. We're gonna need to get drink some water too. Who doesn't eat 45 steaks until they're full? Exactly. Let's see. 
Let's get this roasted meat down. Did 10 roasted meats fill up like half of your hunger bar? Meat back then was not nourishing. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Okay. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> go to work. <laughs> go to work. So will this guy put stuff in this storage? Presumably when he gets back, he should just put some meat in there. <clears throat> If you give him tools, what tools does he need? Uh, the, the the tool theory doesn't doesn't stand, Chad. I put an axe in the woodcutter one, and he didn't do anything. So. I don't know if they actually do work or if it's just passive, but there's no way to tell if they're even passively doing work. The woodcutter can put the wood into the into the resource um, barn. From the patch notes, temporarily disabled tool requirement buildings for NPCs to allow them to work. All right. So they don't need tools. Put a chainsaw in the chest. All right. So another thing that we can ch check out. So 78 food. And then if I put food in here, this roasted meat in here. No. So that doesn't count towards... So what's this chest in here for then? On the... For the tooltip for the, uh, for this thing though, resource storage, or was it food hunting lodge? Food storage. It said that it receives food collected in the hunting lodge, fishing hut, barn, and animal buildings. Manamir still hasn't come back from his hunting trip yet. I know I'm in the hunting lodge, but based on what it said there, I was expecting the food to be taken from the hunting lodge by this. It says that it says that this building, the food storage building, pulls from the hunting lodge, but it, it didn't pull anything from the hunting lodge. Yeah, that's why I'm wondering if the te is the chest just decoration or, or what? What's the deal? Well, no, it, I don't think it pulls in raw meat because they can't cook meat. You, if you put raw meat into food storage, it doesn't um, it doesn't count as food. So you have to cook it up for them. Wood has gone up to 19.3 without me putting anything in, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I didn't put any more wood in. So does that mean that he must be wood cutting? not going up that we can see anyway it's only gone up what I've manually done yeah the woodshed is close to trees it's in the forest
Raw food is going up. Where do you see that? <clears throat> I mean, raw food going up. Where do you see that? There's raw meat in the chest. Oh, in food storage. Oh, right. So it's passing raw meat in there, and I then I have to then cook it. But you can get them to cook it with what, a tavern? Oh yeah, there's 11 meat in here that I didn't put in there. So these guys are, so this is working. Wood is going up as well. Nice. All right, farming knowledge and crafting knowledge and tech was from the barn, wasn't it? Flour, we have no money. Sewing as well, oh my lord. Oh, here we can make the linen thread. Okay, we'll have to sell some stuff. Can we sell raw meat? Maybe that's not the best um, thing to do. I suppose we could sell some of it though, right? Because how much... I mean, there's 168 food. That's a lot of food, right? Stone knives are a pretty good one too, yeah. They're like 21 bucks each. Need some more rocks. Okay, so this... Get rid of this field. <laughs> Some of these stumps as well. I think this is my favorite part of the game. <laughs> Punching stumps. Stump puncher. Okay. Let's go romance Inga a bit. We need a wife. And we gotta build this barn as well. <sighs> Alright. Inga, Inga, Inga Bazinga. I have one. I have a wife, an IRL wife, yeah, but I don't have uh, an in game wife. I'm working on it though. Inga, will you marry me? Will you make me the proudest dude in town by agreeing to be my lawfully wedded wife? This guy's pretty good at some stuff too. The Beesdar. Hey, do you have a minute, Beesdar? Have you heard any gossip lately? Um, do you have a minute? How have you been lately? Uh, do you have a minute? Um, what a day. Hey, do you have a minute? No, I screwed it up. Okay, who else? Bratimir. Bratimir, I think we're close with, right? No. Bratimir, uh, nice weather we're having. Okay, see you later, Bratimir. Uh, Prezibor. Prezibor. Hi, Prezibor. You got a minute? Uh, recently got into hunting. Uh, you got a minute? Uh, what a day. No. All right, see you later. All right, Inga. What's up? Oh, Inga, I love what you've done to your hair. I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Um, you know, having a lot of money like I do makes life a lot easier. Oh, shit. Fuck. That's embarrassing. That's really embarrassing. God, we really fucked that up. She did not like that. Minus 10% for that big faux pas. walk into the frozen lake and end it all, yeah. Did that line work on my wife? Well, funnily enough, when I met my wife at the time, I had no money. Now I have um, slightly more than no money, but that's about it. For, for, for 
Wiggle Up. Thanks so much for the 500 bits. Don't worry. She's just a lesbian. Okay. No, I mean, we are, we're gonna hopefully marry her, though. We really want to marry her. Alright. Ten meets. Ten meets down the hatch. I like that my house is a little bit more private compared to the uh, to the other ones, you know. I like that. Let's light up the fire so that we can sleep by the fire. Sleep now by the fire. Sleep now by the fire. Sleep now by the fire. I like the privacy, yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love the privacy. Okay, how are we doing for resources today then? Wood's gone down, food's gone down a little bit, but the boys are back out and they're on the job. Okay, let's get this barn up and running. And then we gotta hoe out the rest of this field too. Uh oh, where's my stone axe? I'm gonna need another one of these bad boys soon. Oh yeah, we're gonna need some money too, right? To get some seeds. Man, this game is so much better than Junkyard Simulator. Who would have thought, eh? Fuck what a disappointment that was. I'm still not over it. Still, still can't get over that one. Some wounds never heal, I know. How many logs did we need for this? Um, for the barn? One more log. Place this barn. <clears throat> it's quite big. I hurt myself today. Sure. Grab some more logs. Guys, did you hear that Microsoft bought Bethesda? billion dollars that's a chump change to Microsoft 7.5 billion dollars
I wish Microsoft would buy me for 7.5 billion dollars. I'm worth more than Bethesda. Come on. <laughs> I can't even get a wife in game. No, I know I. S who's who do who's our best chance now? Rudolfina. Vladimir. You think Vladimir is our best chance to get married now? Delfina's busted out. I don't remember. I thought we had made some good progress with her, no? Oh, didn't we make a lot of progress with what's-her-face? Daihatsu or whatever her name was? We can go check her out in a second. She liked, um... We got lucky. It was all those, uh, offers to go have sandwiches by the lake or whatever. Sandwich by the lake woman. <laughs> that one. <clears throat> Am I gonna get and stream Cyberpunk when it comes out? No. No. I'm not gonna get it. I'm I'm not gonna stream it either. <laughs> they added like uh, like Jesse Cox and Co Carnage and stuff to the game. They never added me to it, so I, I don't I'm not gonna play it. If that's how they wanna be, then fine. They don't want to even add me to the game, then fine, I won't play it. It's as simple as that. Sick of these game companies. You know? No, they didn't add you guys either, I know. I would have happily played it if they would add me to the game, but... If I complain enough, I'll make it happen like Twitch Rivals. Uh, you never know, yeah. Uh, I'll probably play it, I don't know. I'm not I'm not that excited for I'd it, though. I'd suck loads of dick for 7.5 billion. <laughs> I, mean, I, I probably would too, actually. Tonight, where I'd probably suck at least a dick for 7.5 billion. I mean... Ah, what do I, I, I'd suck a, a, a cruise ship full of dick for 7.5 billion. All in one session as well. I would go for it. Why not? Jesse Cox is pretty cool though. I guess so, yeah. I mean... But, it's still... this. But still, I still think that they should add me to the game. And if they don't add me to the game, I'm not going to play it. That's a lot of work, yeah, I know. Did you guys ever see that episode of Jerry Springer where they had that woman... Who had sex with... She, she was like... It was a Guinness Book of uh, Records thing, I think. And she had sex with like 500 men. Like, back to back to back. And she had like... Like ice packs for her vagina and everything. It was just like... <laughs> I don't even know if it was real. It was pretty funny though. <laughs> no, it wasn't my mom. No. 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 Close, but no. You guys never seen that? Look it up on uh, YouTube, see if it's there. It's like, I'm pretty sure it was like for the Guinness Book of Records. Or, some, or something like that. It was some shit like that. But anyway, this woman had sex with like 530 men. Back to back to back to back. It was just like a, like a long line. It was like, it was like, it was like people lining up to get into a concert or something. And they were all just like, <laughs> Because I think they needed to do, like, to, to be, like, go in and out very quickly. They were already, like, <laughs> they were all revved up and ready to go, pretty much. And then they just, like, walk in, do their thing, and walk out, like, two seconds. And that, that happened all day long, 530 times. 
More like 500 and... It's 500 something times, I'm pretty sure. How were they having sex if they were back to back? <laughs> Vegeta 25 RS. No, I meant like, um, you know, like the, you know what I mean. Not back to back. They weren't like back to back. She, she like, she, she had a, a partner, like one after the other. You know what I mean? One, one, one after the other, after the other, after the other. I'm not kink shaming. I just, it just, it just, it's a, one of those standout Springer moments for me. I think Springer, Springer was like, back then, um, when you look back on Springer now, oh, I can't even believe it was on TV. It's unbelievable, actually. What is sex? Um, oh man. You know that time your mom uh, had 500 boyfriends at the same time one day? Um, cause she was trying to break a record. Well, the thing that they were doing when, uh, they were coming around to your, <laughs> to your house in a big long lineup. When a pape, when a Peter and a Penny love each other very much. Yeah, that's it. It was actually 620 men. Right, okay. I, my, my stats are wrong, sorry. Admit, Sips, you've had more trains than King's Cross. Yeah, I have. It's true, but but not nothing nothing compares to that woman who had sex with 620 men. I just remember she was like all sweaty and she had ice packs. Like they, I think they like uh, there was like footage of them interviewing her like right after the whole thing was done or something. But I just remember just being a little bit grossed out at the time, thinking she's all fucking sweaty. She's got these fucking ice packs and stuff like. What the fuck? How do you get to this point in your life where you're doing this? The record is like 900. Oh, man. What the hell? <laughs> Wasn't sweat. Oh, she was very sweaty. She's all sweaty. It's really gross. Alright. Looking good. Alright, we need some straw now. Hi Sips, protector of the Maldives, Chakravarti of India, ruler of the known world. Well done on painting the map. Yeah. An achievement for the ages. I know, it was, uh, it was, it, it took a while, but we, we managed to get it in the end. It was great. It's the first time I've ever painted the entire map in a Paradox game, so it was quite, quite a nice achievement, actually. I felt pretty good about it. Droidicus, thanks so much for the bits, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. I think I think the, the the start that we had made it especially uh, good as well. It was such a rough start. We almost gave up. Like you know, we were just in the in the Maldives in this one county. We couldn't really get anything going, and then yeah, it was nuts. Yeah, it was a really good one. It's a nice nice one to turn around into a full map paint. And get the uh, achievement and stuff as well. It's good. Right, I'll just get some straw here for the roof. Can I convince you to buy this game? No, I can't, but I mean, if you want to buy it, just, you should, it's, it's not that bad, actually, it's pretty fun. Fer, Fergalup, thanks for the bits as well. Did she at least get a medal for her feats? Um, I think she might have, you know. I think she got a medal, or, at least she got some recognition in the Guinness Book of World Records, at the very least. She got fame and fortune. Hey, you know what I started watching last night? Oh, I finished watching that uh, The Last Dance as well. That was really good. Thanks for the recommendation, Chad. It was great. I really enjoyed that. I thought that was really interesting um i started watching that one on the uh challenger space shuttle last night the one on netflix i watched the first episode it's all right 
It's pretty good. Uh, it's not like uh, it, it's interesting. It's really interesting. I, like I mean, I'm interested in the whole like space uh, NASA space program, and I like the old footage from like the 80s and and stuff as well. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, no, it's, it, it seems all right actually. It's pretty good. Oh wait, do I need logs? Oh yeah, I do need more logs, don't I? But the Earth is flat, so it's not really fair to call it a documentary. Well, it's executive produced by J.J. Uh, Abrahams, the uh, guy who made all those, uh, you know, Star Trek movies and stuff. So he's definitely pushing an agenda as well. So I would take it all with a pinch of salt, really. You know, that J.J. Abrahams. <laughs> Can't trust that guy. I just don't think you can really trust that guy. Like, you know, Star Trek obviously wasn't real, so... J.J. Abraham Lincoln, yeah. The one and only. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? Oh, it's because I've got so many sticks. Okay, I'll come. Okay, remind me. <laughs> There's 136 sticks here. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Wait! Stop rolling! We need to come- Okay. We'll come back- Oh yeah, we can just do an alt on it. Oh, that's right. You can't make a sleigh, no. Not that I know of, anyway. I don't think you can make a, sl a sleigh. Hey, this is the last day of winter. It wasn't too bad. Okay, chapter six, a big game. So the barn is done. So let's get what's her face out here, right? Uh, so the barn, barn, we want to assign a worker for the barn and it's gonna be Maderica. She's really good at this. Let's get her as a farmer. I don't know what that does, but. No, I haven't forgotten about the sticks. I'm going back to get them all right now. <sighs> Got him. It's a rule I don't trust anyone who willing them, willingly let themselves be known as JJ after the age of 13. You don't like the name JJ? What does the JJ stand for? John John? John James. James James. Jim Jim. <laughs> Jimmy James. John J. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> Jar Jar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know what it's short for though. Joey Joe. Jojo. Are we ever going to finish that field? I'll get around to it, yeah. Okay, let's put these sticks in here for the for the boys here. Um, we got to pick up some more sticks. we got to pick up some more rocks as well. So hang on. we got to pay some tax. we got to pay 210 bucks in taxes. Let me grab some rocks from the ground. Some couple of sticks. We'll make some knives and <laughs> go sell our knife collection in town. The fucking weirdo is selling knives now. Where is it? I need sticks. I just hand a whole bunch of sticks over. Can't believe we gotta pay like 200 bucks in taxes.
Well, selling these knives will help us out, though. Okay, so we just need some more sticks and rocks. This is good, actually, because we can clean all this area up. Make more room for some buildings. fishing pier. Uh, there's some sort of fishing lodge that you can build. I don't know if it has a pier that jets out onto the water, though. <sighs> the tax collector on the walls of the city seeing me pick up stones and sticks. This, sucks. this guy's gotta pay me tomorrow. I hope he's ready. <laughs> you are dirty. Uh-oh. Oh, we're all dirty. Dirty, dirty man. Alright, Adelina. Show me your wares. Um, we want to sell seven stone knives. Six stone knives, really. Okay, we have 135 bucks now. Um, what else can we sell that we have a lot of? Oh, we can sell meat. Oh, it's not worth it, actually, to sell this meat. But uh, because of how long it takes to get, we'll just make more knives. Let's make some more knives. Cook the meat and then sell it. I don't know if you can. Well, I mean, you can. I don't know how much cooked meat sells for compared to the other, but... It's like two bucks for one meat. It's too low. I thought it would be like ten bucks per meat. That would have made more sense to me. It's alright, chat. We've got plenty of time to collect the taxes. We'll have to, once spring is here, we'll have to make some more money because we need some seeds for the farm. You think alerts are broken? <coughs> Danny G98, no, uh, it's the, uh, it's 10 bucks for the alerts. A ham sandwich walks into a bar and orders a beer. Bartender says, sorry, we don't serve food here. <laughs> That's an oldie but a goldie, Danny G. Thank you so much, Danny G98. I appreciate it. Thanks. Oh, look at all these rocks. Oh my god. Yeah, we need water so bad. Okay, hang on a second. I think we'll start losing health before we... Um we, we, I don't think it's just like an instant death, you know? Stone skinning knives. Okay. <laughs> Let me go have a quick... Have a quick drink of water. <laughs> Show me your wares. Um, uh, stone knives. Okay, so we're at two sixty one. Two sixty one tax or two ten. That's fine. Gotta go cook up the rest of these meats. Probably eat them all as well. Danny G89. No problem, man. Thank you so much. Right. So we want to make a whole bunch of roasted meats. Don't worry, I'll have a bath in a second. Hmm. 
flirting in this game is so hard. I asked her how her day was and she hates me for it. I know. Some some of them The one that seemed to work for me a lot is the um, is the one where you say, "Let's go have a sandwich down by the river." That's how my how that's uh, that's been my most successful flirting. What's a wissent? No, I haven't built an IRL greenhouse. I want to. Oh, it's the bison, European bison. bed tonight we're gonna come back uh fully uh fully fed right because it's the change of season it's a new season chat pay taxes or there might be trouble okay I have to deliver 261 coins wait what 261 now ah oh, 365 what the hell what are these goal posts I thought it was 210 Taxes are paid in coins. Every spring you will need to pay taxes to Castellan, the central village of Gostovia. Taxes are charged for your buildings and fields. If you don't pay tax for last year, then the debt increases with interest. The following year you will have to pay back both debt and the new tax. Current tax with the debt is visible in the management tab. Each subsequent season you don't pay your debt, your dynasty reputation will suffer until you exceed minus 10,000, at which point you will be exiled from the valley and your journey will end. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. We need some stones. Okay, I don't know if this woman is actually doing anything. Like... What are you doing? She's doing some threshing. Apparently. And making some flour? Nice. Making some animal feed? Open the building menu and there's a tab. Where's the building menu? A barn. Screen. Oh, I see. So we can make she's a farmer. Power on flax screen. Oh, I don't get any of these menus, honestly. You're in a 50%. Yeah, there's nothing to harvest yet. So I guess we gotta get them out working in the fields. We're gonna need some seeds. So I'm gonna need to make a lot more money. Alright, how's everything else doing? Wood, we're up. Food, we're okay for. We need to make some more money. So we'll have to get some more stones and uh, sticks together so we can make some more of these knives that we can sell. We need 
Let's do some mining. I need lots of stone. Just like in real life. It never rains, it pours. Hey look, I unlocked the tavern. That could be a good one. We can make some beers. Duh, beers. We're bankrolling this whole village with knives. The village knives bill. where you'd expect there to be rocks. Aha. Okay. Let's make this bird trap. 20 minutes watching the music loop is already driving you nuts? There's only like three songs in the game. I personally don't really notice things like that much. I think it's because I've got kids. Like, repetitive stuff, um, like background music, TV shows and stuff like that, I, my brain, like, can filter it out perfectly. Like, I just don't even notice. Alright. Um, show me your wares. I have a whole bunch more stone knives for you here, baby. 408. Okay, we can finally pay this guy now. Is this him? <laughs> what the hell is he doing? He's doing the invisible stairs. <gasps> hey baby, what's up? Uh, I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Um... You know, I'm quite strong. It works like a charm on ladies. You know, on my way here, I saw a patch of beautiful flowers. Yes. Um, you look as beautiful as the blue sky today. No. Uh, did anyone ever tell you I have beautiful eyes? No. Oh, okay. 32% though with Rudolfina. All right, uni ghost. Here I am to pay my taxes. Hello, did you come here to pay your taxes? Yes, here you go. That should cover everything. Splendid. And dialogue. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, medieval life is so depressing. <laughs> Jesus. It's the worst. That 
it's so depressing. So how much money do we have now? 43 buckaroos. All we got left is 43... 43 buckaroos. Fudge. Where's that other one? Adamar? Alwyn. Who's Alwyn? Hi, my name is Rasimir. Hi, I'm Alwyn. I don't recognize you. You're new here? I came here from the south. I'm looking for a new place for myself where I can start a new life. Well, good luck. Continue. Every day I cultivate fields. In fact, you do the same thing every day, year to year. Doesn't it bore you? If I were you, I would die of boredom. Of course it bores me. How long can you do the same thing in life for over and over again? Too real. Too real for me. But the family needs my help. And I am doing my best. Did I offend you? Sorry. It's fine. On top of that, the handle handle on my damn scythe broke. Now it takes even longer to harvest crops. I think I know how to help you with this. I will be back soon. Here, use that as a new handle. Give a stick. Are you joking? How am I supposed to use it? Give me that scythe. I'll show you how to do it. All right, you surprised me. Are you some kind of craftsman? How do you know how to do it? I know how to create some simple things. We're learning something new every day, right? Maybe. I am a farmer like my father, and I don't know much else. You never know when something will be handy in your life. Anyway, thanks for your help. I should get back to work. Sure. The rye won't cut itself. See you later. Yes, bye. I gotta wait for the next day now. Where is she? Dagmara, there she is. All right, Dagmara, it's time. It's time for us to get our flirt on big time. What's up, baby? Wait, I thought we did some flirting with her, but maybe not. Uh, do you have a minute? Nice weather we're having today, don't you think? There we go. I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Uh. You know, I like you a lot. Oh. She didn't like that. <laughs> I thought we were close. I thought we were close with her. What a fucking day, yeah. Um, hunting? Nice weather. All right. Good. Dagmara can, um, I don't know. She can do some shit, though. We can, we'll figure it out. We got room for her, right? Dagmara. Okay, we're going to get Dagmara to work at the uh, barn as well. Actually, you know what? She can work at, uh, at the food storage. Dagmara. Good. <laughs> Fuck me. Excuse me. Do we need a farm hand? Oh, maybe we do, actually, yeah. Ah. I need somebody in the fields. I need to buy some, um, some seeds. Um, show me your wares. Let's buy some wheat grain. 20 bucks. Do I have to, do I have to actually, um, 
plant all the stuff and then they'll harvest it and work it or what? One seed. <laughs> I know what? It's fucking so expensive, Chad. I only have like 40 bucks. <sighs> we gotta start out small. We, got, we just gotta start out small. Okay, let's get uh, one. Wait, if I put the seeds in here. If I put actually put the seeds in here, will they use them? And then if I configure the um, the field management field field number two, open the details here, and I say, let's get wheat here, and then let's get carrot here. Field two. See, look at this one. It's got 63 carrots, apparently, in it. That can't be right. Oh, I see. We haven't planted 60 carrots there. It's because this field... Okay, hang on a second. So if we go to management field 1, we say uh, cancel... Okay, right. And then if we go to um, barn and assign a worker, uh, Dagmara, as a field worker. Here she comes. Okay, let's see if she actually does it. Will she plow the field? This oh, fuck. That's great. She's going to plow up the whole field as well. That's good. That's great. She's going to plow this field, yes. And later on, I'm going to plow her field. I don't know if uh, it's going to happen, though, because it's impossible to, uh, to marry people in these games. Or it takes way too long, in my opinion. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to also get... Uh, Medarica, Me Medarica out here as well. So we go barn, assign a worker. Oh no, she's already assigned. How do we, um, Medarica is working at the barn. So we'll put her into resource storage for now as a storekeeper. And then we'll go Medarica. We want her to work at the barn as a field worker as well, right? So she should come out and start helping. Oh yeah, here she comes. There's nothing for them to do inside, so they might as well both work the fields, right? What you, what you planting here? Wheat! Carrot! <laughs> Wait! Did she use my seeds? Wait! Oh, he she... Okay. Chat, here we go, look. She's got her own seeds. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so let's go like wheat all the way for this one. And then this one will be a carrot field, okay? So we're gonna get some carrots in here.
Watch these women work the fields. Fuck yeah. She's fertilizing this field now, too. Did I save it? I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And, yeah, that's fine, too. Ah, oh, fuck. Finally, somebody's, somebody's doing something around here. Fertilizing it with my seed. Exactly. Exactly. All right, this is great. This is really good. All right, so wood has gone up as well. Food, not so much. Um, I got a whole bunch of food on me. But we're already hungry. And thirsty. Alright. We need some more farmers. Turn the poop into food. We're going to, don't worry. We're on it. Oh look, Inca's got a quest now. Inca's got a quest. Inca's got a quest. Hello, Inca? Uh, can I help you with something? I lost my bucket that I need for milking. Could you bring me another? Yes. I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. We should have a lunch by the river sometime. Um, how have you been lately? I hope you're doing well. If you ever need anything, just ask me. I'll be glad to help, especially since it's you. Uh, what an amazing dress you have. Not quite. Um, you look as beautiful as that blue sky today. Jeez. What the hell? <laughs> Just got absolutely wrecked there, yeah. All right, Bizadar. Um, how have you been lately? I'm creating a new village. Reputation required 350 now. How is Terry? Do you have fun? Really? Oh my god. When he was running around the uh, garden and eating grass, he spell out the word T across the whole thing. <laughs> oh. Nice. Well, <laughs> help me. Help. Me. Three fifty. We need. Oh, we're not that far off, actually. So we got to do this next quest to get three fifty. He's a genius. He is a genius. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Three fifty, and then we can get that guy in to help out with the fields and stuff. So we have to craft a bow. Wait, we have the means to do this now, right? Sewing. A worker building for crafting thread, fabric, and clothes. It also has workstations for crafting them in a small storage. We can make the tavern now too, right? I do have the means of production for a bow and arrow, which will make hunting even better. All right, let's get on it. We have to hunt a bear. Wow. That's going to be nuts. We have to cook up all this food, too. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Look at all this fresh meat that this guy brings in for us. Oh, 
Okay. Once we have the tavern, they'll be able to automatically cook all this meat, right? There are apparently bears, yeah. Am I liking it? Yeah. I think it's pretty good, actually. What do you guys think of it? It's silly, but it's 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 all right. I think it needs some balancing. I think eating ten meats and it not filling you up is kind of nuts. Check on Monomir, I'm worried about him. We don't need to. The meat is rolling in. He is collecting so much meat, you wouldn't believe it. I know each day is a month on the calendar, but still, I mean... It's still, like, too much... It's too much busy work, all this cooking meat. Maybe it's easier once you get a tavern, I don't know. Yeah, I paid my taxes already. We're all square. Uh, we're gonna get married as soon as uh, we can convince one of these ladies to marry us. Yeah, I think we'll prioritize the tavern. There we go. All right. So we'll eat some of this meat. And the rest of it we'll put into food storage. <clears throat> Good. So now we have 444 food. That's great. Okay. St. John's warts and some morel mushrooms. All right, I have to go chop more trees down. We want to build a tavern. If we want to build a tavern. Uh, it is going to be survival crafting. Tavern one is ten logs. There's four logs in storage. Oh no. Uh, more rocks. Let's see. Four rocks. The hell? How the hell do you get four rocks to work together on an axe? You gotta like fuse them together? Oh wait, it's sticks that I, I always read that wrong actually. It was just sticks that I needed. It's two rocks. Sorry, chat. I read it wrong. I read it wrong.
tavern is useless right now. The workers won't cook food. And devs are working on it. Oh, right, okay. So it's not worth making it then. Okay, we'll make the sewing place then instead. <coughs> According to chat, yeah. How are they doing? Well, the, the, the field farming stuff seems to work really well. Look at it. Look at this. Look at all this progress that they've made. <laughs> they made a lot of progress. Uh, I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Now she's here, we can flirt with her anytime, right? Uh, do you have a minute? I'll go now, goodbye. Wait, what did we want to do? Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Need some logs. Whoa, fuck, there's 28 logs in here. Dude, it's going for it out there, holy crap. Right. So, we want crafting and we want workshop. Sewing. But we don't want to get, we don't want to ruin all of these uh, berries though. Logs and straw. We need some more straw. Okay, so we want sewing, but then let's also get uh, this workshop too, right? So we need six more logs from out of here. This is so neat, isn't it? I love all this. It's really good. Okay, there's no sticks left in here, so we're gonna have to get somebody to start collecting some sticks. <laughs> That'll be me, I guess. here <laughs> get back to work you lazy bones jeez I'm out here busting my ass they're just standing around by a campfire in there unbelievable unbelievable One more log. <laughs> it's cold, my lord. It's like no light around here at all. God, the first day of spring is already done. I can't believe it. A whole bunch of straw, which I have, and then logs. Do I like the game so far? Yeah, it's alright. It's pretty fun. So, straw. I don't have that much, actually. I thought I had more than this. Okay. Let's go to bed.
We didn't have a bath the other day, did we? When it said that we are dirty. Now we're nice and clean. All right, let's get back to, actually we need to collect some reeds. I think we need some more sticks too while we're out here. It's good that the trees and stuff grow back. Man, I think this game, could, if they add more to it and stuff, I think this can be a great game. Honestly, I think like what they've got here as a as a start is pretty good. Why is the music going all spooky? I don't know. It just does sometimes. Okay, let's go flirt with our farmhand. Where is she? Garunga. <laughs> I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Um, we should go to have lunch by the river. Oh, shit. Um, did anyone tell, ever tell you you have beautiful eyes? Um, you know I like you a lot? Oh, shit. It's no good, chat. It was no good. I think Rudolfina is our best bet. I think she's our best bet. <laughs> Inga. Man, I can't figure out Inga. She's too much hard work, old Inga. All right, let's grab some logs. Let's grab like eight logs. Let's get this workshop finished off. Okay, that's the workshop completed. So we can make some wooden tools, wooden spears and stuff. We can make some stone tools as well. Stone skinning knife, a stone hoe, a stone ax, a throwing rock, a stone pike, and a stack of 50 stone arrows as well. That's pretty good. Yeah. So we need a bit more straw and then we'll need some logs and some more sticks as well to finish this. I don't know, our little town's coming along pretty pretty nice though. We need to get some more people living in here and working. Once you get a couple of people working, though, it's pretty OP, actually. Like, the amount of shit that they collect and stuff, it's good. You're doing great, Dad. Hey, Shipsh. Just yeah. finished work and joined the stream. Was thinking about getting this game. What yeah. are your opinions of it so far? It's all right. It's, it's... Danger Can, it's not bad. It's pretty chill. Look, once you get the ladies out here working away and stuff, it's good. Look. They're plowing away. You are right there. I think she's bugged out. No, no, she doesn't need a hoe. A hoe. They've uh, they disabled tool requirements in the game for now. 
Hey Sips, been watching you since the Ticket days, finally caved and moved to Twitch and wanted to say thanks for all the laughs, love you dad. Varys Rain, thanks so much for the bits, welcome. I'm glad, glad that you're here, thanks so much. Danger Ken, thanks again for the 10 bucks as well, thank you very much. I think it's just, I think they bug out sometimes. Maybe, maybe they just like stop working, I don't know. I don't know. No, the nudists from India have not arrived yet. We're still waiting for them. Alright, let me go get some more reeds. Man, look at how quickly everything grows every day in the spring when it's raining. Fantastic. It's a shame we don't have more seeds planted. We could have had some huge crops. Once we have this sewing place set up, we can get... Um, some some of that uh, linen thread, right? Let's see what we need for it. You missed my toaster mic. Those were the days, huh? Oh no. Oh, thank God. It's almost stuck there. <laughs> so close. I think six should be enough to finish it off. Do I still have a toaster mic? No, I don't. Sewing one place, spinning, so we can make linen threads with 10 flax star. We can make wool thre thread with some wool. Um, and then we can make tunics, short sleeve tunics, a felt vest. Wow, you can, you can make a lot of clothes. And then on the loom, you can make linen fabric and wool fabric as well. Fuck. What mic am I using? I'm just using my toaster mic. Make some lingerie. <laughs> okay, I will. I'll get right on it. Yeah, I think she's like totally bugged out. So we might have to like reassign her. Who is this? Um, extraction knowledge, we're done. Miner? Let's go woodcutter, I guess. And then we'll go into mule. So this is uh, Madurica. Madurica. So we want to make her work in the barn. Let's put her into sewing one for now. As a seamster. Okay. And then we can go to her again and put her into the barn as a field worker. Let's see if that fixes her. She doesn't seem to have be having any problems plowing the field. She is just going for it. So she has to go back here, check in for work, and then she'll come back out and hopefully carry on doing stuff. Yeah, here she comes. 
Maybe she'll help Hope. Let's see what she does. She's fertilizing the field. Alright. Fair enough. So that so farming work seems like when they bug out, they won't they won't uh, change the tiles, which they kinda need to, right? Manamir, on the other hand, being stuck here, and Woodsman Joe wherever he has gotten to. It doesn't seem to affect them. They'll still trickle in resources, right? But far the but the farmers you ca they can't bug out because they won't change the tiles. But they can actually plow the fields and stuff for you, which is great. That's really good. Right, so if we check, uh, for instance, in here. Yeah, see, we're still getting a ton of this, uh, a ton of uh, raw meat in. Which is, which is what we're expecting. That's Manamir's job. And then we should be getting some more logs in too. Maybe a little bit slower than we expect. coming through fifty one roasted meat yeah it's a lot of meat we do need some veggies and stuff yeah because we can make some um, we can make some stews and stuff which account for way more food How did all of humanity live like this for thousands of years? Man, they didn't, they didn't do it for very long. I mean, generations lasted for like 20 years or something like that. I mean, realistically, like... I mean, there was no, there was no birth control, so... You had like hundreds of kids um, per family. But if you were out there, like, gathering resources in the woods and you got... You scrape your arm on a branch or whatever, you're pretty much dead. <laughs> like there's, you know what I mean? There's just, there was not, not, nothing to... There was just nothing to fall back on back then. So, like, people did live like this for thousands of years. But nobody, nobody spent an awful long time doing it themselves personally. Life expectancy back then was like, when you were like 30, you were dying of old age, pretty much. Unless you were like a king or whatever, you know? We got a new crafting level. Crafting knowledge. Let's put all this stuff in here. Good. And, um... We need some more stuff for this. How do we get this flax stuff? Flax stalks. Do we have to plant flax on the farms or something? Ok, 
Okay, let's plant some flax like that. Just need a bit of flax. Where did the planted seeds go? Oh, they're here. Wheat and carrot. Is it just me or is it taking her forever to fertilize? Like, I swear to God she stops when we don't look at her. Like it's taking her all that time to do that one row. Uh oh, now she's doubling up on the same square. Oh no. She actually makes more progress, but even then, it takes her all day to do like four squares. It takes her like all day. I have to buy more seeds. I guess we should start trying to make some money, right? We gotta go do some hunting. We, also, we have to make a bow as well, which is gonna take forever at this rate. I think a deer, wolf... We can, we can hunt with spears if we really had to, but having a bow would be a lot better, right? Yeah, you can have multiple workers working on the same field. I think. I don't know if they actually do it though. Let's see what they do after she's done plowing. If she's done when she's done plowing, she'll probably fertilize, I would have thought, right? Pick up the entire tree. Oh, we cut it into like three parts. Okay, let's give her a hand here. She's almost done, actually. There. Job done. Now what? <laughs> oh no. She's bugged out. She doesn't know what to do next. She doesn't know what to do now. Okay. So that's Dagmara. So Dagmara, let's get you working at the uh, sewing place for a sec. As a seamster. Uh only to then move you back to this place, the barn, to be a field worker. Let's see what she does now. What's she gonna do now, chat? She's planting wheat. All right, we don't actually have these seeds. So she's just getting these for free. These are so fucking expensive as well. It's not like eating into any of my money. So we're getting free wheat planted here. Mm. 
so she's going to plant flax at the end. Maybe she had some in her inventory. I don't think they have inventories like that. Oh my god. This is the fucking pits. All this. <laughs> We need more workers. Why why does it take so long for you to to do the tutorial? <laughs> like fuck's sake. <clears throat> we could add way more people on this. Oh, I don't think you can build a castle, no. Hey look at this thing spins this thing spins around. Randomly. Let's go to town and flirt with um, Rudolfina. We have a good chance. We got a good chance with her, right? Hi. What's new, Alwyn? I'm tired of my mother's conflict with Jerogan Gan Ganiwa. Her son, Dalebor, won't leave my little sister Olga alone. I understand it's just a game for him. After all, when I was his age, I played with Dobromira, his older sister. I was a knight with a stick instead of a sword, but I defended her honor. Like every knight does, it's adorable. Anyway, you are a fool. I think he needs something to keep him busy and away from my sister. So that you can have some peace too, huh? It would be nice. Okay, I have to give Dale Boar a, a stick now. Where the hell is he? Oh, he's over here. He's hiding in his mom's house. Dale Boar? No. Dale Boar. Hi, you're Dale Boar, right? Yes. You look very strong for your age. Have you ever thought of becoming a knight? It's my dream. Are you a knight? No, but I know a lot about them. Have you heard that all of them start learning how to fight with the wooden sword already at your age? Where would I get such a sword? Not a knight. It just so happens I have one with me and I give it to you because you're clearly worthy. I'm honored. It may look inconspicuous, but it is certainly an excellent practice weapon for an aspiring knight like you. It looks a bit like a regular stick to surprise your opponents. And you know what else knights do besides fighting battles? They ride horses? This is well, but most of all, they protect the ladies and children from danger and make sure that no harm is done to them. Really, sounds like a lot of work. Yes, this is the most important principle of chivalry. Alright, thank you for the sword, not a knight. Now I'm going to defend the ladies and the children. You're welcome, young master. You're welcome. What a quest line. Hi, I solved your problem with Dalebor. Yes, I saw him running around the village with a stick. You must have an amazing gift of persuasion. This young one does not listen to anyone. You gave me the idea with that stick at night story. Ugh. All right. We have to wait for next summer before we... Where is she? Where is she? Don't tell me she's dead. Oh yeah, she lives over here, doesn't she? Doesn't she? Oh yeah, there she is. Rudolfina, she's in this house. <laughs> fucking people. Hello? <laughs> hey, what's up? I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Um, you look beautiful today. Nice. Um, also, 
Uh, did anyone tell you that you have beautiful eyes? And also, we should go and have lunch by the river. Nice. 39%. Okay, good. We've done good. 39% chat. That's, that's a good uh, affection percentage. Very smooth, I know. I know. I know. She'll be our wife soon. Soon enough. doing his leg exercises and these trees are growing so fast Holy crap so fast okay it looks like everybody is it's quitting time I don't know why the music is so dramatic. It's crazy. Excavation shit. Oh, that'll be good. Excavation shit. A worker building for mining rock, salt, and limestone, or digging clay. The work range is limited to 50 meters. It should be built near the entrances to the caves, clusters of rocks, or clay deposits. Right. No problem. All right, let's see what these ladies get up to today. We can't have them bug out again. How did she get on with planting seeds? Pretty good, actually. She's planted quite a few seeds. She managed to do, like, a row and a bit of manure spreading on this field. Get back to it, ladies. That's right. That's right. We gotta bring home this bacon. Um, we want this a big game. Oh fuck, we're never gonna get any flax at this rate. The fields, maybe the fields are too big? Yeah, I think they might be, you know? How many carrots did we get from that set, from one square? It was like eight carrots or something? next to town. There she is. There she is. There's the old 39 percenter. What's up, baby? I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. We have a zero chance of her marrying us. Uh, my lady, I cannot help but compliment your shapely figure. Yes, yes, I know. Thank you. Um, we should go out and have lunch. Um, on my way here, I saw a patch of beautiful flowers that reminded me of you. Um, shapely figure again. 46% now. Huge gains. We're sowing wild oats. Something like that, yeah. Oh, I guess I don't really need this fur hood anymore, right? Should I just wear it anyway? It's in 100% condition. Are there sex cutscenes? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe.
All right. Is there an any mod for this? I think so, yeah. I think there is. There's got to be one, right? All right, we're going to go hunting today. We'll go do a little spot of hunting. To make a bow, linen thread, leather linen thread, stack of 50 stone arrows, wooden bolts. So we definitely need linen thread, and for that we need flax. So no matter what, we're, we have to wait until basically this season is over to get a bow. Unless we buy one from somewhere. I mean, we could buy one from somewhere. Or just use spears for now. I don't think we're going to be able to kill a bear with a spear. Just buy the string. We'd have to make um, some more knives and sell them, right? Flax is bald. I know. I think he knows too, chat. I think he's aware of it. Alright, I'll make some knives while I'm out here. We can certainly hunt deer with a spear, it's fine. Do I have any food on me? I've got meat. Uncooked meat. I'll have to cook it all up. We'll get some water while we're out here too. We gotta find some deer. We've we've hunted deer here many times, chat. This is the spot. God, how did that miss? God, we absolutely launched it. Come back here, you swine. kill 10 deer we gotta kill 10 of these things shots missing oh 
Pardon me. Jesus Christ. Come here. Come here. This is so annoying. The the fucking it keeps losing the inventory slot, so you always have to change it back. Nice. Alright, let's grab this one here too. Oh. <laughs> Fucking the worst. Yeah, we need to make a lot more spears, yeah. That sound is in Age of Empires too, man. I think that there's like big libraries of like uh, assets that you that some of these guys just use over and over and over again. I mean, it is basically like Don't Start, isn't it? It is a lot like Don't Start. a little it's a little creek there we go right back on top of things chat just like that am I quiet Probably this, it's probably it's probably this is just loud. There is that better? <coughs> A little. It's just the rain the rain effect is very loud, isn't it? Alright, we need to find some more deer. We need eight more deer, and then we need to kill three wolves as well. There always seem to be quite a few deer around here. Maybe we killed all of them. Oh, <gasps> there's one. God, uh, what was that shot? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh my 
god! What? <laughs> what? Come on, that was that was a direct hit. I saw the spear hit it in the in the in the face. I saw it with my own eyes. Okay. All right. Come on. Maybe we need a bow and arrows. I think we need to need a bow and arrows. Thing is, the bow and arrow just it it it's we're not we can't get one. I don't know if you know how the game works, but we need to uh, we need to plant some. Um, some flax and then turn it into the stuff that we need to make the string for the bow. I, I think we could just buy it equally, but I don't really have that much money. So that's why we're using a spear. Well, we don't a hundred percent need one. We can hunt with the with the with the uh, spear. It's just harder. Oh my fucking god, though! <laughs> my god! <laughs> he fucking shoot right at it, like. I mean, we need one for the quest, yeah, but at the rate that the farming is going at the thing, it'll be next year before we have what we need. Fuck sake. All right. <laughs> okay, fuck, I give up. Fucking spear hunting is just garbage. I'll just go buy the thread. Fuck sake. I did fucking aim left. Fuck. had spear deflection it must have yeah wow there's a whole bunch up here too where is this all right this is just up the hill from where we are we'll come up here with a bow and arrow as soon as we have one try to murder all these deer Wow, look at all these berry bushes up here. How's it going, ladies? 
I noticed you haven't made much progress since I've been gone all that time. You fucking slackers. Come on. Plant faster. Just plant faster. <laughs> sorry, my lord. Oh, I'm sorry, my lord. Gotta sow those seeds of love much faster. Do you think we could get a good deal from Unighost? Wow. <laughs> that's interesting. Now that's what I'm talking about, chat. They, they can't quite believe it. Don't kick shame. Okay, sorry. I'll try not to. Show me your wares, Uni Ghost. Right, what has he got? He's got a uh, water skin, a scythe, a bag, and some flax. Oh, he's actually got some flax for sale here. Uh, we could sell him four stone knives. Okay, we'll come back. Let's see if she's actually got the thread. She, I think this woman over here has better stuff, right? No, she doesn't actually. She has carrot seeds. Flour, onion seed, rye grain, and wheat grain. So it's just her uni. Oh, hang on. She's got some stuff too. Let's see if she's got what we need. Okay, that's like cooked meals and stuff. So I think we'll have to get flax from him and then process it. Honk. All right, so we want, was it flax stock? Okay. I think that's all we need for the linen thread. He didn't have linen thread, did he? He didn't last time we checked. He did have it. Are you sure he did? Not that we can afford it now anyway, but... <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, the bottom here. It's a hundred bucks. How much did we pay for um, the flax stock? Uh, we don't even know because we bought it all from him. It's a hundred bucks for a thread. Fuck. Yes, thank you very much. I know he had thread. I just fucking went back and checked. Yeah, he does have thread, yeah. No, you're right, he did. He had thread. Yes, he had thread. He had thread. Chat, did he have thread? I don't have the technology for... <laughs> My god. I don't have the technology for linen thread now. When do you get that? 
gotta unlock it with 50 bucks. You have to unlock it with, with 50 bucks. Unbelievable. Man, getting a bow is such a slog in this game. Holy crap. Never known anything like it. It is the worst. I'll make a couple more knives. Make some more knives and sell them. And then, bam. We'll be up and running in no time. out here collecting twigs and rocks once again <laughs> once again <laughs> make a rope and go out back yeah i want to at this point that's sounding like a better better idea well at least tomorrow morning we can flirt with our number one lady again and maybe get closer to getting married hey what's up guys Done, done standing and staring at a house for the day? Just standing there, staring at a house all day long? Okay. Looking good. Looking better. We gotta get the boys out here to dig some clay. That'll be huge, right? We'll be able to sell clay for some big money, I'm sure. Let's go sell these knives to this guy, and then we'll buy the, um, well, actually I've got the, the flax, we'll sell the knives, let's unlock that thing in technology, and then we can make the thread ourselves, right? the fuck is he? What the f fuck is, hey, so what do you sell? What do you sell? This guy sells manure. And animal feed, and he sells meat and eggs as well. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Oh, there's Uni Ghost. Oh, we don't actually need Uni Ghost. We're just here to sell the, these knives, right? These stone knives. Hundred and thirty three bucks. Technology, uh, crafting, sewing. So we want linen thread. Fifty bucks. Microsoft just brought the thread for a hundred coins. Well, you know what? We have now the means of making our own thread whenever we want. Why don't I sell the meat? Well, I don't know, because we kind of need meat. Look. We might run out of meat one day. All right, then we'll be sorry. <laughs> buy my fucking manure. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. We got one linen thread made. So where do we have to go to make this bow and arrow? And what else do we need for it? Now that I've got the linen thread. It's in here, wasn't it? 
So we need it. Uh, we just need one log. <laughs> nice. One log and a linen thread. bow we're making a bow chat nice right stone arrows so what do we need feathers rocks and sticks so we just need a whole bunch of sticks to make a stack of 50 stone arrows Wait, do I have enough feathers on me? I guess we better go to bed. Was it 50 feathers? Okay, let me check to see if I got the feathers at home. 50 feathers, fuck. I guess you need a feather for every arrow, right? cracking sound. <laughs> Is that my paninus Di just dying? Uh, I have 13 feathers here. Hang on a second. So I've got 25 feathers. Put this leather in here. Yeah, I know. I put some more in the warehouse, didn't I? Oh, I, I failed the missing bucket one. Oh shit, it's a change of season again. It's fucking summertime. And look, the weed is growing. Okay, look, those, these two doofuses are going back to work. Okay, how many feathers do I have in here? 12 more feathers in here. So meaning I'm missing what? 13 feathers? All right. We might be able to find some scattered around. Some Sometimes you find them like on the road and stuff. Feathers, bird traps. I thought that was some feathers there. You just get them from cutting down trees. Oh yeah, I suppose you would, right? Cutting down bird's nests and stuff. Right, so now that it's summer, these two won't work in the fields? Because why? Because... So spring is the time for them to do all of their... Uh, planting and uh, field prep work and stuff and then summer what they just wait around for harvesting this stuff isn't ready to be harvested yet when do they harvest in the fall next season Kill, take to kill one deer. What even like the huge headshot? Oh my god. You have to have feathers for um, for arrows as well. There's, there's no way around it.
I can't believe how many feathers you need to make a stack of arrows. Maybe just boxing the deers is, is better. Uh, maybe. Alright, so we want to reassign these people to, um, to the barn. Is there no way to just like manage this assignment? Okay, so now they're both now they're farmers. But we'll have to make them field workers next season so that they can bring in the um, the harvest. Or do they have to bring in the far the harvest now? Let's go. Let's go flirt with Rudolfina a bit. <laughs> Sorry, townsfolk. Needing stamina for this inspection mode is really dumb as well, isn't it? Take a bath first. Oh, it's too late. I'm not running back home for a bath. It's raining out. We're having a shower. Oh my god. What the hell? What the hell? We're like pretty much in love. The worst. Who sells feathers? Unigos doesn't, does he? <laughs> I rode her too hard last time. Fuck. No, he does not sell feathers. Uni Ghost. He sells meat and stuff. <laughs> she needs some ice packs, yeah. She does, yeah. Maybe Adelina? No, Adelina. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck is this? That's like something out of The Exorcist. Right. Carrot seeds and stuff? No. I don't know who would sell feathers, chat. I don't think any of these guys sell feathers. Other town. I could check this other town, yeah. That's what the medieval children used to do, yeah. That's it. That's how they did it. Aha. Five feathers from the bird trap. It's pretty good. Why is my town right next to the other one? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I didn't really know what, what I was doing. I just... He, the guy said he would... I could have as much land as I wanted. So... And the game said to build a house, so I just built a house. I thought I was being clever by building my house close to these two towns. It's a lot more convenient, yeah. Than being, like, out in the middle of nowhere. Alright. We got two people who will sell stuff here. What do you got? Just eggs. <laughs> Alright. Just eggs. What about you? Falibor. This guy sells... Oh, maybe there's somebody who actually just sells arrows straight up. This town. Maybe 
These are all people that I can have back. There's no other vendors here. Okay, let's go. Let's go flirt with Inga a bit. Wow. Hi, Inga. Um, we should go have lunch by the river. And what an amazing dress you have. And um, oh. Well, so much for that. Man, this game has the, the exact same issues that the other Dynasty games have. Why is it such a fucking chore to have a, to get a wife? Like, this is the third Dynasty game that we've played where it just takes for fucking ever to get married. I mean, how long did we, how long did we play Farmer's Dynasty for? And we were like nowhere close. To, to getting a wife. Take the chicken feathers. Where were they? Were there a whole bunch there? It's taken you nearly 26 years and you still had, have had no success? Well, listen. You know what? This is a game, right? This game, there's no chicken feathers here. <laughs> you liars, look. There's fucking, there's jack shit in here. Inga's fucking take it, probably just plucking them right out of their butts straight away. She knows how much they're worth, these chicken feathers. Shit. There's not a feather to be found here. I don't know. I think this game has like some. Um, I know it's like alpha or early access or whatever, and they're fixing it and stuff. There's definitely some like. There's definitely some pacing issues, right? Like having needing needing a bow, but not having like. I don't know. Having to like fucking make knives and sell them and stuff isn't isn't that great either, right? Like I feel like you should. You should be up and running a lot. Well, maybe like with the... I don't know. I don't know. Some of it just seems like such a fucking unnecessary grind, you know? The problem is, is with a lot of this stuff that takes a long time, all you end up doing is there's no, there's no faster way to get around than just walking. All you do is walk between places just to find out that you can't do something. You know what I mean? It's not great. It is kind of busy work, yeah. But but with no like with very little sort of payoff to it. I mean like setting this stuff up was kinda of cool. It's kinda of fun like hiring the people in to like to start working and it's cool to gather the resources and stuff. But like romancing somebody takes way too long. And um the hunting and stuff is just like I don't know. It shouldn't take you that long to get a bow or arrows. I feel like, um, you know, like in like a game like Rust, <laughs> you just have a bow and arrow. Bow and arrows like instantly, right? You don't need like all this, all this faffing around. There's no pooping. No. Why is it always raining? Uh, I think it was. Well, it's spring, but now it's summer, so it shouldn't be raining anymore, but who knows? Maybe maybe it just rains. Yeah, so basically, we just need to get feathers now. Also, um, oh, flatbread. Wow, flatbread is 40 nutrition. That's pretty good. Um, I guess I'm carrying six logs around with me, so I need to get rid of some of this stuff, too. Let me put this stuff in here. So we just need eight more feathers, and then we and then we can be up and running. I haven't even looked at this bow yet. 
I did make it, right? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Alright. So, eight more feathers. So, if we just cut down a lot of trees, we should get the feathers that we need. Have a look on the ground as well, just in case. Where did the... Do the feathers just appear next to the trunk after you cut down the tree, or what? What's the deal? all to look for them for the feathers oh will they just appear on the ground that's what i mean like if they just appear on the ground i can just have a quick look around but i don't know how it works yeah you can only have one bird trap so Oh, they just drop and bounce around. Okay. Oh, yeah. There they are. One feather. <laughs> they do bounce around. You're right. see any fall out of that one. Oh my god. This take forever. You can't make it, like, you can't make them arrow by arrow either, right? It has to be a stack of 50. <laughs> oh my god. Think of all the feathers that we missed. Well, fuck, there's, it's like impossible to see them though. Like they're, they're just small and they bounce around. So you just gotta like hope that you catch a glimpse of them and then you regret them or just like waste a lot of time looking around for something that isn't even there, you know? There, that's two feathers that fell from this one. Where'd the other one go? Is like over here somewhere? Oh yeah, here. <laughs> so how many feathers do we have now? We need five more. I saw feathers, but where the fuck did they go? Uh, oh my god. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Jesus Christ, chat. How's this game? Oh, it's a bad time to ask. It was going well. <laughs> I don't know if it's going well anymore.
The one flew back here, but anybody see where it go? Where it went? I'm sure I saw another one fly back here. I didn't see any fall off that. Oh. I thought I saw two. Maybe it was just one. Um, all right. So we have, we're, we're missing one. Christ. Oh, I thought that said feathers. Okay, here it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. We're almost, uh, completely dehydrated and uh, we need to eat some meat as well watch out for the ants now yeah we've chopped down so many trees um, archery so what do we need? Um, we need uh, two more rocks. I guess a lot of this stuff, the tedious stuff to find, you get like from some of these buildings in the end, right? All right, 50 stone arrows. No arrows. What do you have to do with the arrows? Oh, you gotta equip them. All right, let's see what this is like now. For fuck's sake. You just know that it it's not going to have been worth collecting all that, right? It took forever to get all those feathers. It's not like we're going to just become efficient killing machines straight away. As I bet you it's going to take like 10 arrows to kill one deer. The drop-off is really insane as well. Okay, I gotta go get that drink as well. It's 51 arrows per deer. <laughs> Unless you buy uh, 100 dynasty bucks from the dynasty shop. Uh, and then it, it's only 50, 50 arrows per deer. It's not, it's not the hunter call of the wild though, is it? Where like, I like headshots will do it, right? We don't have to like shoot them in the heart or anything like that. Yeah, I tried using a spear to kill all these animals, but that, that was pretty frustrating as well. This, Spear, I mean, we'll probably just end up going back to spearing because I, I doubt that this is going to be any good. Who knows though? Maybe I'm wrong. The 
combat is Dark Souls like? Yeah, you know, I haven't played much Dark Souls, but I imagine that it's a lot like this. This game is a is a for sure a Souls game, isn't it? Okay, let's get up close here. So you have to get real close. I think you can at least pick the arrows back up sometimes, though. Oh, thank God. Okay, if we get their arrows back, at least that's something. Archer. Predator. Okay. All right. We lost an arrow there. And there. <laughs> or maybe not, actually. Okay, we got two arrows back there. It's not too bad. <laughs> got him. Yeah, it... it I think if, when you get used to it, it's not too bad, actually. And the fact that you get your arrows back is great. For the most part. I mean, we've, uh, we've lost a couple, but... It's a lot better than the, uh, than the spear, that's for sure. Oh, here we go. Another one. Another one is about to bite the dust here, baby. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> that fucking stamina drain on the drawback, though.
Oh my god. Yeah, we're, there's no way we're gonna take a bear down like this. There's no way, right? Spears are much better for bears. Okay. I mean, it's it. The hunting isn't that bad. It's kind of okay. All right, it's not Red Dead Two, but it's all right. No, oh, it's bad. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to see the. I'm just tr trying to. I'm just trying to see the the glass being half full. You know. I'm trying to stay positive. Positive. Here we go. Look at this. It's a real deer fiesta over here. Uh, you can't really kick dogs, no, but you can uh, slay wolves. thinking about heading home oh we're pretty close to home actually it's down here we can come back up here and finish those other deer off in the morning can you kill any of your workers like while they're asleep can you just Loose an arrow into their into their dome. Why do I ask? Well, just curious. There's only one way to find out. True. Oh, it looks like a couple of people haven't gone to bed yet. Interesting. The answer is nope. The answer is nope. Okay, let's go to bed. Whew. Big game. Big game hunting. Uh, it's something. It's, it's something else. Let's see if these if these things are ready to be harvested yet. Harvesting is in the summer, right? Or is it in the fall? Do they harvest in the fall in this game, or or like at the end of the summer? Save zero 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 zero. This is us here right now. All right, chat. I gotta go. It's late. Listen, Medieval Dynasty is, uh, it's, it's all right, actually. It's not, uh, it's, it's not bad. It's, it's, I think it needs some, I need some, a bit of work, but uh, for the most part, it's all right, actually. It's, it's, it's not too bad. Can I change the walls of the houses after they're complete, or do you need to dismantle them? For early access, it's good. Yeah, no, it's, it's all right, actually. It's, it's pretty fun. It's got a lot of uh, the stuff that we like, right? Building and people. 
um, you know, like uh, fucking um, NPCs walking around that you can hire and stuff like that. Some of the systems seem kind of cool. I think, um, I think, I think, I think it's all right. I think uh, like a, a couple of like balancing changes and stuff, and then if they add some new features and everything, I think it'll be really good. I think it's, I think it's pretty fun. Uh, we'll play some more tomorrow. Listen, chat. I'll be a little bit later tomorrow, though. I got something to do in the morning, so it'll be like lunchtime uh, before I start. But we'll play some more of this. Try to get some more stuff and try to get some more people hired in and finish this big game hunter thing, and uh, and see how it goes. Yes. All right, chat. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you had fun. I had fun. Thanks so much for the support as well. Thanks for the donations. Thanks for the subs and resubs as well. You guys are the best. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, have a good uh, rest of your um, Monday. And I'll see you uh, bright and early uh, tomorrow for, um, for some more.